Shalom everybody and peace of the Lord to all of you. Uh, you know we are back so early I did not really even rest enough. Uh, but I have an urgent call. A Muslim from Indonesia and he is an Ustad. He said if I come to Skype he will demolish me. He don't go to Discord. So I said what time? He said, any time. Any what? Any time. Is that you? But he said in the he will be in this in the Skype, not Discord. The one who put his hand up. Uh, guys, don't put your hand up unless you are Abdul. Anyway. So my Skype is open. Alright. In case you don't have my Skype, let me pause it for you. He have my Skype, you know. And he said that I'm running away from him. And since I learned that he uses Skype only, I since then, like a century ago, I'm not coming to Skype no more. So my Skype is in the info of the video, if you click in it. And this is my Skype here. And he have my Skype, as he claimed. Uh, and he told uh, his, uh, his friend, the one who spoke to me, that Christian Prince is running and he will not dare to debate me. Uh, I asked him, what is your, like, who are you? He said he is a big ustaz. He would demolish me. He doesn't speak good English, but don't worry, he have a translator. All right? So, if you are ready, here we go. I mean, I think this guy, he thought I will not come. I just, uh, you know, hang up like a few, two hours ago. Uh, I did not even have rest. So he said, there's no way this guy is going to come now. So let us see. I'm here. I'm ready. If you are ready, uh, text me in Skype. My Skype is open. We will take your call immediately without any delay. And uh, I promise you, I will treat you nicely. I will not uh, say, you know, something. I mean, you know me. I mean, I say Muhammad is a false prophet. That is, uh, you know, you know that, you know the thing. But I will treat you as a person nicely, as long as you are nice. You can speak by Discord. You are a Muslim. Stanley Abdul. Is Stanley Abdul, is that like a, uh, Stalin Abdul? Okay. Are you him? Hello? All right, you are not muted. Go ahead. Hello, how are you, sir? I'm fine, I'm fine. You, are... you still have an... Um, it's fantastic to speak to you. I'm the friend of Zakir. You still haven't answered Numbers 3117, which speaks about rape by Yahweh in the Bible. How can Muslims believe in this rubbish? Numbers yeah. 3117 and 18. Yeah, yeah, you know. This I, is the I, problem, I, I, my I, friend. I will go with you. So, are you against rape in Islam? I'm against rape in the Bible. No, the Bible so, teaches rape so, and killing. Uh, no, the verse, it says, no, it, no, the verse there never says rape, you are a liar, but I can show No, I it says lachem, the on. word is lachem. No. How do you take them, lachem them in Hebrew? Do you know Hebrew, yeah, sir? Take it them, is lachem as your wife. to kill you, all the boys and kill all wife, the girls, but Mr. all the young girls keep alive for Mr. yourself. Lachem. You lachem them. We How? Talk, we cannot talk in the same time. You want to talk to me? Let's uh, discuss. So, does it there? You said lachem. Lachem means rape. Lachem means to devour. <laughs> How do you devour young girls? How do you devour no, young no, girls? No, no. You, you now, are, therefore, kill are, all the boys, are, are, but keep you, alive you for yourself all the girls you, who are, are virgins. Are an, are an How do you keep alive uh, for yourself talk, the girls who are virgins? We're not talking at the same time. Sorry, you know, you are a scumbag like your prophet. But your prophet is the one who did that. I can show you the reference immediately. In the Bible, you stupid eat it. In the same chapter you are reading, it says, if you want to take a woman as your wife, and by the way, if he did not, he have to free her. He have to free her. If he take, he take her only as a wife. Only. He cannot rape her. He can marry her. You are a scumbag liar. Lachim <laughs> potato. Well, you know what the chapter there is saying. Anyone can go and read it, you stupid. So you think you think is if you keep talking, speaking loud, you don't let me talk. You will uh, you will look, sound like you are wise and smart. 
Mike is muffled. You guys, my mic is muffled. How is my mic? Really muffled? Ah, huh. how come? Let me see. Okay, let me leave the stage and come back. Give me a second. And you see what's going on. All right, what, what about now? Is it better now? Or still the same? Good. What about you two guys? Is it uh, is it bad? So this is only in... Uh... Yeah, you know, the funny is, he said he is against rape only in the Bible, right? But he's not against rape in the Quran. This is what he's saying. And here you see how Muslims are really a bunch of liars, you know, trashy uh, conversation. It doesn't take you anywhere. If we go in the whole Bible, nowhere it says you can't rape a woman. Nowhere. Empower them, like uh, taking women, those are captive of war. The enemy, they take the Jews as captive of war. They enslaved them. Muhammad, he did that himself. And he raped Jewish women. Uh, but in the Bible, a man, he cannot rape his slave. Nowhere it mentions that. In fact, when they take a slave of war, this woman, she have to shave her head for a reason. So the man will not be tempted by her beauty. She will look like a man. This is additional, let us say, step to prevent the man from being tempted by the slave he just took from war. So those liars, they fabricate words, they fabricate stories, and we know what the Bible says. And you know, when somebody claimed that he knew Hebrew, you can go and you can check word by word what the Hebrew is saying. You do not need even to be a scholar in Hebrew to see what it says. There's tons of websites, Jewish websites. It's, it's going to show you every Hebrew word, one by one, what they mean. All right. If, uh, if the Abdullah from Indonesia would like to join us, uh, feel free. My, my Skype is open, and now I have no text from anybody. Anyone? Where is the the sheikh? Anyone? Where is the Abdul? Don't tell me you made me come here early and you are not coming, you potato. If you think that is like is a nice game, well, it's your fault now. I am going to insult your prophet for the coming two hours at least. So you did not, you know, play me. You just made me come online again and spank your prophet. Any Muslim would like to join us from Indonesia, from Pakistan, from England, Bangladesh? Until the Sheikh from Indonesia join us. He is getting ready. I'm sure he is coming. There's no way. I mean, he promised. He's a friend. He said he is sure. He's, he is... He, he said that Christian Prince is not coming even in certain time, so he, I can avoid him. I mean, this guy do not know how early for me, I mean, in the morning. Uh, but he think I am avoiding him, this is why I'm not coming in this time. So this is the time he is ready for me. So we are here. My Skype is open, my Discord is open. Even the door of the Kaaba is open. He have no choice to say... You know, he is not there. Yeah, we have an orang orang challenge. Any uh, sheikh, but for sure, if this guy come, you know, like we will, uh, we will not take anyone. That as soon as he uh, takes me and he join us, uh, we will not take any Muslim until we finish with him. And I'm sure he can, like, he can defend Islam very, very well. You know, he sounds like he refused to give us his name. I don't know why. Maybe he will lose his career. Like maybe what he would do, if his debate was successful, he will mention that, here we go, this is me. But if I demolish him, eh, nobody knows who is he. You know what I mean? Like if victory happened, which will never happen, then he will say, this is me, the one who was talking to Christian Prince, uh, you know. If demolish happened, he say, this is not me. 
like the guy with his name uh, Shabir Shabir Ahmad Shabir Ahmad <laughs> this is not my voice brothers and sisters this is not my voice <laughs> Shabir <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, what about we make it? Let us say this is not you. What about you call me for real and demolish me? Sheikh Uthman. All of them, they want to debate me face to face. Fifi, Farid. Christian Prince, I wouldn't debate you face to face. But he have a hundred video to respond to me, but he don't dare to take one call from me. I mean, do you see how brave they are? Lie number 99. <clears throat> Lie number 101. Lie number 102, but you don't dare to call me and show me one of them and let us see who is lying. Potatoes. Any Abdul? The big Abdul is coming. Maybe he is, you know, camping his beard. Maybe he's waiting for the translator. I don't know. Because he said, you know, that the guy who spoke to me, he said he don't speak good English. He speaks English, but his English is not good, so he will depend on uh, him. To translate if he could not express himself but you know don't worry I mean Allah will help you do you think Allah will not help you to express yourself are you kidding me you have Allah on your side maybe you need Jesus because Jesus according to Muslim books he made his disciples speak all languages they woke up in the morning everybody speak different language Muhammad he have Allah in his side and he could not even read or write his own language imagine the disciple of Jesus, they woke up in the morning, they found each one of them, according to Ibn Kathir, they found that each one of them speak different language, speak or write. But Muhammad, who is Allah in his side, he could not teach him how to write his name. Sixty years, Muhammad did not learn how to write his name or how to read it. Something fishy, isn't it? Hmm? I mean, even Christian Prince, you can teach him in 60 years how to write his name. And the videos, by the way, uh oh, oh, sorry, this is a, this is a, a, a something I hang on uh, uh, on the side of the wall. So, according to Muslims, uh, uh, Indonesian Christian Prince don't speak Arabic. Okay, I don't speak Arabic. What you can say? What you can do about it? Any Abdul, my Skype is open, my Discord is open, we are in Rumble, we are in uh, YouTube, we are everywhere, but Allah knows where to be found. Anyone? And then now no sign of any Abdul from Indonesia. Orang, Orang Abdul. How many Indonesian we have here now? <coughs> Give me one if you are Indonesian. <laughs> you are here, <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> Stanley Abdul. <laughs> uh, you know the, the funny is uh, when when somebody he wanna make a lie. Uh, and the funny, like even you ask him, are you against rape? He he say only in the Bible, which means he don't he don't mind if his somebody rape his mama. <laughs> He's against rape only in the Bible. <laughs> I'm not. You see, who is the one is afraid is the one who don't let the other person talk. You mention something, you will not even let me answer you. You will not even let me say what. Okay, hold on. In the front of everybody, is it fair if I give you the microphone? Okay, and if, no problem. If I give you the microphone and I make you read the verses in Hebrew and you tell us what each one of them mean, but under one condition, we will show the reference for the meaning. Is that fair, guys? Is that fair? We can see, he said number 31, verse 17. This is the only verse, you know, I mean, I can show you tons of verses about killing in the Old Testament, you idiot. This is the only one. I mean, I can help you. But you, potato, you mention something you cannot back up. Same time, the story is exist in your stupid Quran. So if I give you this stage, 
Are you willing to read both from the Bible and from the Quran? If you will not, that means you are afraid. Are you willing to read it for me, word by word in the Hebrew, and show me where it says the word rape? I will bring you to the stage again. But don't remember, we have to exchange conversation. If you talk only, if I talk only, this is not a debate. Come to the stage. Come over. I invited you. All right. Why you don't come? Let me get the Hebrew. Ah, oh, okay. He wanna get the Hebrew. A second ago, he was saying lachem. A second ago, you speak Hebrew. You know one word Arabic word, uh, Hebrew. Isn't it you who said to me lachem a second ago lachem? Lachem me rape you donkey. May Allah lachem you. Get out of here. He wanna get his Hebrew. Lachem. <laughs> 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 I know, I, I know a Christian prince is lucky. I go in the elevator, I see a Muslim. You know, once I was, I was in the Philippines, uh, this is many years ago, There's a, I was speaking in the phone Arabic, you know, and then uh, the connection lost. So, I, you know, that, that's it. There's no connection. So, Abdul, he was wearing hat, Abdul, you know, he, he looked he look Indonesian, actually. He don't look Filipino. Obviously, they are from the south of the Philippines. So he said to me, Assalamu alaikum, brother. I said, Wa alaikum assalam, Abdul. He said, MashaAllah, how you know my name? I was going to explode from laughing. <laughs> he said, MashaAllah, how you know my name? I said, <laughs> I said, don't worry, I know your name. <laughs> and then he said to me, uh, so you are an Arab brother? I said, yeah, but I'm not a Muslim. He just should see his face, you know. Should he say, he, the second he heard that I'm an Arab but not a Muslim, like what? And I know his name is Abdul. Like what the heck, you know? And then I was going upstairs actually, and then I I I, I, I said, why why you are not a Muslim brother? I said, Islam is stupid, man. Do you want me to show you? So he said, okay. So instead of going to my direction where I'm going, we went downstairs. There is a park. Me and him, we sit there. The Abdul, he is very religious. He have a small Quran, like tiny Quran, like pocket Quran. He have like a, like a purse, you know, like he have papers in it, etc. So he said, you have Quran with you? He said, I have Quran with me, for sure I have Quran. I carry Quran with me everywhere. I said, do you have a Quran, the Quran you have in Arabic? He said, yeah, in Arabic. I said, okay, well, that's great. And then we opened the Quran. He didn't know Arabic. Okay, why you are carrying Quran in Arabic? You know, anyway, we uh, we solve the problem. We open the phone. We start reading. So I show him the verse in the Quran in Arabic in the book he have in his hand, and then we go to the translation and he read it, and then he says, "No way, it doesn't say that. No way, no, no way, brother, no way that says that. No way." You know, and and then he promised me he was going to ask his ustaz. You know, now I did not give him phone number. I don't trust to give phone number to anybody. Uh, but then after a while, I saw him in the mall, but he was with his wife and she is wearing a burqa. He put his hand in the front of his face, tied like, you know, and he start like, you know, like, you know, in his mouth, like, don't talk to me, you know, like, you know, it's like my wife is here, you know. And so I walked by, I said, Assalamu alaikum, Abdul. <laughs> He's afraid to talk to him in the front of his wife. Muslim men are so brave. In the front of his wife, he is potato. He don't dare to speak to me, you know. Anyway, I mean, how in the world I you know my name, huh? Assalamu alaikum, alaykum assalam, Abdul. I should see his face. He was shocked. How in the world I know his name, man? He didn't know that every one of them is Abdul for me. Do we have any Abdul? Let us see the Skype. Do we have any message? No. There is a, <laughs> you know, some people are really funny. Uh, this is here a person, I think it's a female saying to me, why you are using his name? What? Uh, I need your book. Okay, and then I, I text back and then said, wait, 
So you are not Christian Prince. He uses Skype for voice call for VC. I said, I am. Uh, why you are using his name? <laughs> anyway, uh, internet is funny. Do we have Abdul and he would like to join us? Anyone? Look like your shake is not, uh, he, he's, a, he's a potato. But anyway, he come over here, we don't come, who care? We are going to expose your stupid prophet. I heard there's science in the Quran. I heard there's a lot of things in the Quran. I mean, you name it. Fart, you know, the God who, you, you have a big sanctions in the Islamic religion about farting. Fartism, Islamism, circumism. I mean, you name it. Islam goes for everything. Right? Even when you go to the bathroom, you have to shake your penis three times. It is a Muslim can tell us why three times. What would happen if you shake it four times? Do you think it's going to come off? I'm serious. Why three times? What's wrong with your prophet? He's stuck with it three times. Is my YouTube coming fine? Is it buffering? Somebody making the buffering thing. If you make buffering and it's not buffering, I'm going to buffer you out. Just let you know. Because that means you are lying. Huh? Any Muslim can tell us why you shake it three times? Assalamu alaikum three times. Shake hands three times. Shake penis three times. Spank your wife three times. Divorce your wife three times. Fast three days. I mean, what women, she, administration, three, three months. They stuck with number three. They do ablution. They wipe their fingers. They wipe their hand. They wipe their nose. They three times. And they say, we are the one who believe in the Trinity. And their religion is based on three. Allah, Zibreel, and Muhammad. But remember, they are against Trinity. Let us see Skype. Until now, zero text from Skype. Abdul is not coming to Skype. Potato. This is the first potato for today. He told the, the guy, I'm not coming in this time, in the day, because specifically I'm avoiding the Ustaz of Indonesia. Are you serious? All of you are a bunch of potatoes. Who is a Muslim would like to join us? Anyone? No, fart that three times. No, there is, there is no hadith that says fart three times. You are, don't make things up. Come on. Show respect to the Prophet. The Prophet never mentioned fart in three times. No. That's a lie. That's a fabrication. This is the Aif hadith. This is the Aif hadith. We take only Sahih hadith. I mean, this is a religion. They claim it's a strong religion, but every story of it is, is Da'if, which means weak. Hmm. Any Muhammadan? Ustaz Malisha Hisab Konakla Konikla Ah, Konikla ah, They drink Konyak Okay I mean, I was wondering who, who is the one purchasing all this whiskey in uh, Malaysia Konyak, huh? Well, heaven, in heaven they have a river of it River of wine. There is no whiskey, no black label, only wine. Allah is addicted to wine. Muhammad, you don't know any drink except wine. <laughs> so he's stuck with it. What is in heaven? Wine. There's no beer? No. Black label? No. You know, like, I'm not really, I, I, I have no idea. I'm the last one who can speak of, uh, like, alcohol. But there's a billion names of alcohol. And uh, Allah, he know only wine. Because he's all knowledgeable. He's stuck with it. Any Abdul? Until now, there is zero text from Skype. If there is any Muslim would like to join us for free until we have the Sheikh. And look at those Abdul. I mean, look at them. They are 
Ustaz, uh, somebody told me his name is Ab Ustaz Abdul uh, uh, Samud, Sa Somad, 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 his name, not, so not Samud, Somad, right? So mad. <laughs> you have a private jet. <laughs> you stupid Abdul. This guy, you take a private jet and you take a private bicycle, you idiot. Huh? What do you do for a living? Huh? You don't even have a bicycle and you have a private jet. Why? Because you're a stupid fool. I mean, even your prophet, he ride a donkey. This guy, you have a private jet? Potato. You know, those, by the way, those exist not only in Islam, they exist in, in, uh, in Christianity too. There's a lot of scammers. Like, there's a guy, uh, uh, he called him, his, his last name is Dollar. Imagine, his last name is Dollar. He claimed to be a Christian minister. He told them that last night he saw a dream. The Lord told him, the Lord told him to buy his private jet. The Lord told him. Come on, the Lord. I mean, come on. I mean, it's, isn't it? And you, Christian, you have to donate to him. So there's, those scammers are exist everywhere, you know? Not only in Islam. But Muhammad himself, the difference is, Muhammad himself is the biggest scammer. Any woman, any believing woman, she want to give herself to the Prophet so he can ever look how nice he is. This is how really prophets of God, any of your women, she want to open her legs to the Prophet, voluntarily. I mean, do you know how hard this job is? He will sweat. He will do work, hard work, just to make your women happy. That is a true man of God. Who can beat that? Ustaz Indonesia Laji Bergarilia Sata CP Meraka. Oh, okay. I don't know about Meraka. You know, to be honest with you, uh, the relationship between me and Meraka is not that good. I just to let you know, you know, like when you say Ustaz Indonesia Laji Bergarilia. Uh, Sata, I'm okay with Sata, but uh, Maraka, no, please, I don't like to involve in politics. Leave Maraka alone. I have no idea what he's saying, by the way. But anyway, you have to act like you know what you are talking about. Like you know, this is what Muhammad do. Muhammad he debate the Christians. But he don't. He never debate the Christians, but he act like he knew what he's talking about. You know the thing. Like if you remember when they asked Muhammad about the seven sleepers, I mean the question is so silly. A prophet of Allah, how many are they? The seven sleepers. Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> Peace upon seven sleepers upon him. He didn't dare to say, you know, uh, how many they are because he didn't know. So he was af afraid if he say, uh, 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 like, uh, you know, Rabi'ahum, Rabi'ahum, all that. If he say uh, there are four, he will be in trouble. If he say there are three, he will be in trouble. But we don't know. So look at the the, the, the answer. Some, the one is talking is Allah. Remember, this is Allah. Some they say there were three and their dog is being the fourth. Some they say there are five and their dog is number six. Guessing at the unseen. This is the unseen. I mean, there are dogs and what, what do you mean unseen? <clears throat> anyway. Yet others, they say, they were seven and their dog is number eight. Muhammad, tell them, tell them. Allah knows best their number. <laughs> that, that is mathematics. That's deep. That's seriously deep. Look, he refuted them all. Those people are confused. How many are they, the seven sleepers? Some they say they are three and their dog. I never heard in a language somebody saying that the dog is number four. You idiot. The dog is a dog. You don't say he's number four. He would be number four if they, if he, if they are four dogs. Uh, hey, Christian Prince, I think you remember me from a while ago. Um, I'm asking a question on behalf of a friend. This isn't related to the Indonesian guy, but I'm just asking a question on behalf of a friend. He's a Muslim? Um, He's she, a Muslim? Uh, no, no. Um, she has a friend who is dating a Muslim man. And she's trying to tell to her friend 
that this is actually a bad thing and he sh she, she shouldn't be uh, wanting to marry a Muslim man. And I want you to like, I, I, is there any like reasons to say that, well, we shouldn't uh, have interfaith marriage or something? Is there like... There is nothing is called interfaith. The Bible says uh, light and darkness cannot be under one roof. However, if a woman, she want to uh, uh, go out with a Muslim man, she is not marrying a Muslim man. She is having sex with him. Uh, for me, I don't have advice for them. This is a whore. This is an act of a whore. She don't care uh, about God. She don't care about religion. She don't care about right or, or wrong. She care about having a man in the bed. It doesn't matter who is a Muslim or not. If he's a Sikh, she will go with him. If he's a Hindu, she will go with him. Those are not women to, to really to convince by, based on uh, belief and faith. Because a faithful woman, she will not even date. She will not. What date? I and mean, what date mean exactly? So those women, they don't care for right or wrong. They care for who is going to be with them in the bed. They are looking for a mate. They are not looking for God. Therefore, talking to such people is just a waste of time. Let her go. Let her be with the man. He will use her. He will dump her. The same as they dump his shoes. Muslim, they leave. Women are nothing but shoes. We replace them as soon as we get bored of them. So let her go. Don't waste your time with her. Okay. Thank you, Christian Prince. Yeah, and cry for nobody. For those women don't deserve even anything. <clears throat> this is her choice. You know, remember, like, the Abdul is not kidnapping her. Correct? He is not hijacking her. No, she is going willingly to his bed. This is not an action of a good woman. I advise your friend not even to talk to such a woman because bad apple will make every apple around bad. Stay away from such a woman. All right? Somebody saying Jesus came for the sinner. Yeah, he came for the sinner, but when the sinner they love, they're lost, those sinners are in their own. So what if Jesus came for the sinner? Does that mean you can go and sin? What does that mean? Jesus come for the sinner, but you, by your choice, you decide to go and sin. You decide to go and rape. You decide to go and steal. You decide to go and, and do all kinds of garbage. So Jesus came for the sinner, yet you are insulting Jesus by still doing what Jesus came to save you from. So this is not an excuse. <clears throat> For me, I don't respect cheap people, you know, cheap. A woman, she is available for everybody. She is available for everybody. Same for the man. The man who sleeps with everybody, he is just a whore. You know what a whore is? Whore is not only a phrase we use for women, sadly, in society, they use the word whore for women. But the fact, whore is everyone. He act like one. He seeks sexual relationship for the sake of money. So, and uh, some women, they convince themselves they are not getting paid. They are not whore, but they receive gift. It's the same. It's the same. So he buy you an expensive gift. You take off your pants, you lay down in the bed. You are a whore. You claim you are not receiving cash, but it is cash. All right? And the man who is giving you that, he is a whore too. I mean, he is so bad, so disgusting to the point nobody want to sleep with him unless he spend money. This is how bad his situation is. He is a desperate sex maniac. This is my opinion. You can, you know, it's up to you. But we know what the Bible says. All right. You know, when the Bible says the earth committed adultery, earth don't sleep around. It's earth. Correct? The earth committed adultery. So are we talking about sex? No. Adultery in the Bible is a great sin against God, not necessarily about a private part. Adultery, people, they think about it only as a sexual behavior. <clears throat> Where is the Abdul? Let us let us see Skype.
you know, <clears throat> those women, they already, they, everybody knew that Muslim, they have multiple wives. They, they are taught to beat their women. I mean, the videos of Mimi Hijab is all over the place saying you can lie to your wife. And then she want to go with the Muslim. She is just an idiot. You are wasting your time. Stay away from, don't allow her to come to your house. Don't allow her to associate with your family. For such a woman, she will trash your house. Bad apple. No problem, not you. We will see. Uh, do we have uh, the Abdul? Is he ready? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Where is the Indonesian Abdul? Maybe he was taking a shower and a rock stole his clothing, the same what happened to Prophet Moses, police be upon him. Maybe. I mean, he was taking a shower, the rock stole his clothing. And now he is chasing the rock. Rock, stop rock, my garment. Hmm. Do you believe in the creation story in the Bible or do you believe outer space, no water, above a ferment, look up Jewish cosmology, love your work? My friend, I don't need to look Jewish, uh, whatever. The Bible say, you know, when the Bible speak about how God create, uh, it's, not, it's not a science. I mean, if God want to tell us how he created just the eye of a human being, you know, then we need to read books and books, just the eye alone. Do we agree? I mean, the human being body is so complicated. So, if if God will describe for us uh, the lizard, how was the, the 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 spider creation, the function, you have to read books. Uh, uh, you know, a person he have a PhD on. He spent his life studying just to study, uh, you know, a certain part of the body, uh, heart. How many books he read? How many books he study just to study the heart, which is nothing but a muscle. Muscle. So, the the Old Testament is not a book of science, and we are not considering it a book of science. The Old Testament is just description about what God did, in a very simple way, simple manner. So when the Bible says six days. We cannot, and I'm not going to make it six billion years. That's what the Bible says. If God, he means something else, then God one day will say to us. But this is what the Bible says. So we are not the same as the Muslims. We switch what Bible say to make it fit with so-called science. Are you with me? We don't believe in Jesus because Jesus is science. Science says Mary, she cannot have a son without a man. This is what science says. Correct? Science says a man who is blind, you cannot put some mud in his eyes and he will see. Science says nobody can multiply a piece of a bread and fish. That is not science. So if we want to believe in science, well, you have to be always scientifically accurate. And my understanding of science, it is not. Science is not accuracy because science always get updated and changed. What is science today is a stupid to tomorrow. When, when those scientists, they say to you scientific fact, I love. Because every day they come to us with a new idea. Uh, you know, like I saw an article about, uh, I remember once, uh, one of my cousin is a doctor said oh don't eat salt you know it's uh, your heart is not good for the heart you know blah 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 and then i think a month ago i saw an article made by a famous doctor supposedly saying there's no proof that salt can affect your heart at all so all those years they are telling people about what salt can do to you. People stopped eating salt. People are afraid to eat salt. So people don't enjoy their food. And now they are saying to you it was false. Who you believe? Tens of years they are speaking about the global warming. 
that the earth will go dry the earth and now they are talking about ice age which one we believe global warming or ice age I mean it can't be both are we warming up or cooling down so uh, uh, you know those those uh, scientific study uh, usually they are sponsored by organization and they have to make a study to get money to get donation as an example European Union uh, you uh, let us say you claim to be a scientist and for sure you have a PhD so you get two or three people they uh, make an application for European Union European Union have a huge budget for research and the search can be about anything it can be about masturbation not about necessarily about astronomy it can be about games online it can be about anything just uh, su submit your papers they approve it you get the money and then you have to give them proof that you did work but the work you did is mostly is a scam uh, <clears throat> I've been seeing a lot of articles about the moon drifting away 1.5 inch a year. Uh, okay, maybe the earth is drifting. This is why we see the moon is drifting. Is the earth is fixed? <laughs> you know, uh, that reminds me of my cousin who was in the highway. And they said there's an idiot driving in the opposite direction, but it was him. So he said to himself, what one? Are you kidding me? There's two, there's a three, there's four, there's five. So if they saw the moon shifting, it's possible that the earth is shifting, but they think it's the moon. It might be the telescope is shifting. It might be their numbers are shifting. It might be all is false. Anyway, uh, Mansoor, are you a Muslim, my friend? Are you the Sheikh from Indonesia? Hello? Hello? Yes, Mansoor. Are you the Sheikh from Indonesia? No. All right. You are a Muslim? I'm from South Africa. You are from where? Yeah. South Africa. South Africa. Okay, you are welcome. How I can help you? No, I just wanted to join. The guys in the comments were telling me to join. Hey, can you speak? Like, I don't understand really. Can you speak more clear? I was saying the guys in the comments told me to join. I don't even know what we're discussing. I don't understand the word. What? I said the guys in the comments were telling me to join. Ah, the guys in the comment. Okay, so so uh, do you like to tell us anything about Islam? But if you can speak like more clearly, I will appreciate that so I can understand you. What do you like to tell us about your religion? I don't know. You tell me what you want to talk about. Uh, no, I, I you know I don't tell Muslims to tell me because I mean to to because. If I question you, you might say to me, okay, you see in the front of us on the screen, it says, chapter 18, they asked Muhammad about how many are they, the seven sleepers? So why Muhammad could not answer? Very simple. I mean, the seven sleepers. What? Why Allah could not tell us how many are they, the sleepers? It's just a simple question. How many the sleepers of the cave? Why would you want him to tell you? I mean, how, what, is it even relevant? Huh? Is it even relevant whether you know or not? I, I don't know. You speak too fast. It's hard for me to understand. How many are they, the seven sleepers, according to chapter 1822? There's seven people in the cave, according to the hadith. According to the Quran, how many? Allah knows best. Allah knows best. So the hadith knows... Better than Allah? You just said to me. Read the ayah. You, you ayah just said to me. You, you just said to me. Only according to the hadith, according to the hadith, there are Only seven. So why, according to the hadith, there are seven, but according to the Quran, Allah knows best? Because only a few know. What? Because only a few people know. Even according to the ayah, only if a few only people few know. People know. Allah, so why you say Allah knows best? We should say the few people knows best. It doesn't make sense to say Allah knows best, and then at the same time, a uh, few knows best. That means they are Allah too. Is that a secret? Only God? What? No. How it says, how it says this is unseen, 
how it says this is unseen and then you it says if you knows only if it's unseen nobody should know it except God and a few the ayah itself says only Allah knows and a few people exactly so, so guys only Allah knows only why you are saying only and if there is a few people know same time how they are new the unseen it says here that this is unseen where does it where does the Arabic say it's unseen it says here the unseen do you see it guessing at the unseen oh, yeah. The dog. Guessing. They're guessing, they're not saying. No, no, what is, what no, exactly no, is no, 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 no problem. It says, so, what exactly is okay, no problem. Guessing, guessing. So, uh, but we are asking how it is unseen. And yet, few knows the unseen because according to the Quran, only Allah know the unseen. There's no few. If there is a few, they knew the unseen. That means Allah is not the only God. Because the whole Quran saying, in many places, the one who knows the unseen, only Allah. So how it is the unseen, and how if you they knew the unseen? Uh, no, the ayah doesn't say that they know the unseen. They're saying that they are guessing at it. Exactly. Guessing doesn't mean... My friend, listen carefully. As long the Quran what? divide for us that this is unseen, the knowledge about how many there are is called ghaib. You see it in Arabic? Ghaib. So the ghaib is the unseen. So those are the first team. They are guessing. Some they say three and their dog is number four. Some they say four and their dog is number five, etc. So those are the guessing part. But the other part knows the number. There's other part of people who knew their exact number. So now the Quran says to us that this is unseen. And yet few knew their number. But that cannot be true because if it is unseen according to the Quran, only Allah knows the unseen. If we type the word ghaib here in the Quran, we will find tons of verses saying it clearly that only Allah knows the unseen. So, and it's a duty for a Muslim, uh, you know, to believe in that, that only Allah be, you know, knows the unseen. Uh, chapter 3, verse number 44. Allah is the one who tell you about the unseen. Chapter 3, verse 179, uh, etc. You know, all of this is about the unseen. Chapter 5, verse 109, make it clearly that you are only the one who knows the unseen, O oh Allah. Only you. Only you. But if we go to that verse there, where does the ayah say, only Allah knows the unseen? The ayah says, as you call it, you know everything. Go back to the ayah. No, it says, Innaka anta alamul ghuyub. Read it. You, you, are, you are depending on the, in, the, in the silly translation. In Arabic, it says, Innaka anta alamul ghuyub. You are the only one who knows the unseen. The one that knows the unseen, not the only one. The, the ayah doesn't say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one okay, that knows the unseen. Okay, I want you to confirm in front of everybody that Allah is not the only one who knows the unseen. Say it. Huh? Huh? I want you to say you just say <laughs> you just say the verse does not say you are the only one who knows the unseen. I want you to confirm that Islam does not teach that Allah is the only one who knows the unseen. Say it. No. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> oh boy. They try to fix it, they make it a blind. Yeah, this is what they do. They they put eye in the eyes of Allah. They try to fix his blind. Jahil. Read the ayah again. Which ayah? This one or the other one? 
Which one? That same one that's over there. Read it again properly. Chapter 5? The same one that you have on here, Jahil. Uh, you are calling me Jahil? What Jahil mean? Yes, you are. Ignorant. Okay, what ignorant Mom. mean? What ignorant mean? It means that you can't read. I read can't, what the verse I says. I cannot read? Your, your prophet cannot read. And yet he brought a Quran that nobody can ever copy. What have you what have you okay but you just said Nothing. to me the one who cannot read is oh. the ignorant you just said that everybody heard you i'm calling you ignorant yahmar okay you just call me a donkey why you are okay according to the quran the one who is a donkey is the one who carry a book but he cannot read it is that correct what according to the quran the one who is a donkey is the same the one who carry book is the one is a donkey is that correct repeat that if you read if you carry a book in your back but you cannot read it according to the quran you are a donkey do you agree the sea is talking about the torah these people it doesn't matter the, you're a prophet he, the torah is the book of allah you are a prophet cannot read it he cannot read the quran he cannot read his name so the quran saying the one who carry talking about the booze yahmar the book the it's talking book. about the Jews. I'm not going Ahmar. to call you Ahmar. I'm not going to insult you because you are trying to uh, find a way to be insulted and kick you out. No, no, I'm, I'm going to be called the blooded today. I decide to eat, uh, uh, you know, like a special food for today. So, listen, the Quran says the one who carry a book who cannot read it is the same as a donkey. You, that is your prophet. It's talking about the, the Torah. It, no, it doesn't the matter. Torah? The similarity the of those who carry the Torah, Jews. any book, any book, the book of Allah, anyone no, who carry a book, book. but he cannot read it. If you cannot read it, you are a donkey. The examples of those who carry the Torah with them. Uh -huh. And they don't read it. It's like that of a donkey. Exactly. You just said they did not read it. So can your, can your read prophet, the again. Can your prophet, read the ayah again. Can your prophet read any book? Can your prophet read any huh? book? Any book? It was illiterate. Can your prophet read any book? Remember, you are the one who said the one who do not know how to read is ignorant. He's a donkey. So can your prophet read I any book? The one who can't read is a donkey. Huh? I never said the one who can't read is a donkey. You're putting words in my mouth now. What, what? I never said the one who can't read is a donkey. No, you said that. It's recorded. It's talking about the Torah. I said No, Torah. no, you said, you said to me. You said to me. I said to you. Oh, so what if I don't, like you said, why you are calling me donkey? You said to me because you didn't know how to read. Everybody heard you. Because you're reading something and you're not understanding it. Okay, here we go. You're a prophet. He cannot even read it. How he can even understand it? If you cannot read it, how you can understand it? What is that, Allah? What does that mean? Never mind, don't worry, you won't understand it. No, no, don't tell me never mind. Your God, his name is never don't mind, by the way. Do you, do you know that your God, his name is never mind? What is one of his names? Huh? Your God name is never mind. Oh, why are you trying to teach an Arab, Arabic? No, here we go. They are asking him, how many are they, the seven sleepers? He don't know. He said, never mind. I told you seven. No, he I told you seven. No, he did not say, show me where it says seven. Go ahead. The hadith says seven. Ah, so Allah could because not answer it. So the Muhammad, Muhammad, he was able to answer. Allah could not. Let's read the ayah again, right? The ayah hold says on, that Allah. Hold on. You said to me. You said to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> you said to me the hadith says there are seven. Can you show me the hadith? Now you want me to look for the hadith for you? Huh? No, you have to look What's for it. Otherwise, it? otherwise, you are a donkey who carry books, but you cannot find what is inside the book. Is that correct, guys? The one who cannot find what is inside the book is a donkey. You say the hadith says, uh, you keep saying to me, you keep saying to me, the hadith says, the hadith says, I want to see it. Go ahead. Where is the ayah? Give me the hadith where it says the hadith. You keep saying the hadith says there are seven. Everybody heard you? Yes, I did say that. Uh -huh. Where it says there are seven.
See, you don't know what the hadith is saying. You, so you are the donkey. I'm looking for the hadith. I don't have the hadith. You are the donkey. Memorized. You are the donkey. I don't have the hadith. I'm not memorized. You are, you are, so the, because you I don't are the donkey. Memorized. You are the donkey. So Allah do not know. Your prophet do not know. Look what your prophet said. If we go, to the, hadith, the if we go to the hadith, we will find that your prophet, he said the following. Allah only knows their best number. He, this is what he said. This is what your prophet said. Allah knows. He didn't say I know. He didn't say they are seven. This is what your prophet says. Rabbi Alam. You know, let's see. Alam bi uddatihim. Let us see if we can find the reference. Uh, give me yeah, a there's a... Uh, so your prophet says that, right? Only Allah knows. So why, yeah, you are, why you are lying to me? So here what yeah, we find, yeah. here what we find that Muhammad is disabled and him and his God to give us a very simple answer about how many people you have they sleep Allah's in Allah's the Allah's uh, Allah's all Allah's that. Princess, so what, princess, we, so princess, what the point of this princess, story princess, if we cannot hey, even hey, know? Princess, hear me out. Huh? Princess, hear me out. Let me get your argument. Let me get your argument right. Your argument over here is that you have an issue with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not telling you how many they are in the cave. Is that really your argument? Yeah, this is my argument. He could not. He could not. Is that your argument? Yes, he could not. So you have an issue with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not telling you something? No, no. Your God cannot answer a very yes. simple question. The seven sleepers is a very well-known story between many generations, and it's a fiction story. You're a prophet. He could not even give the number. The story is all over the place. Go right now and type in Google. This is long, so exists long before Islam. It's not a secret. So why he cannot say they are seven? What the problem? Because Allah doesn't want to. If I mean, if the verse if the verse says only and few they knew their number. What the problem? Why he don't want to? Is that like a secret of nuclear weapon? Are they going to be arrested? I mean, this is a story happened a long time no. ago, hundreds of Not years. Not knowing something doesn't mean you're going to get arrested. Are you mad or something? What? Not knowing something doesn't mean you're going to get arrested. Are you really that? So why we cannot say how many there are? Because Allah doesn't want to reveal it to you. So Allah is... What, what about the other possibility? Allah do not know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew. First of all, when you say, when you say Allah, he knew, he just I mentioned, mean, he says Allah knows. He mentioned that this is unseen. And by saying unseen, that means only God have knowledge of it. And Allah don't have knowledge of it. Because if he knew, he will say. So why Allah could not answer? Because this is unseen, which means only from the knowledge of God. And then in the same verse says, and if you knew, knew their exact number, so how it is the unseen and there is a few group, few people know the number. It's not unseen no more. Either it's unseen, only God knew it, or it is unseen. Or uh, it's, uh, like seen for everybody. But when you say only few they knew, that means it's not only Allah. It's not a secret no more. There is a few. When we say few, it means at least a three and more. So... What is the drama is about? What this is about? Muhammad can't answer. Very simple question. Anyways. What? Nothing. So what do you think? What kind of God this God is? He cannot even answer. I mean, they came to him. They said to him, "Tell us about the seven, the, the, the seven sleepers." They, Muhammad, he thought they are trapping him because the Jews always they do that. They ask him a question to to laugh at him, and Muhammad is a fool. This is why the Quran in chapter nine, verse sixty-one, it says he is an ear. What ear mean? You tell him a story. He put it in the Quran. What? What? Read the full ayah. Which ayah? From Surah nine. Which ayah? Which ayah? Oh, you want me to even tell you the number? What? Uh, you do know I don't have the ayah numbers memorized. Just what, to let you know, what, right? what, what are you talking about? Tell me, I don't know. The one from verse 9, from Surah 9, from oh, Surah 2. talking about chapter 9. Okay, we go there. You want to talk about chapter 9? 
So, so, so why, why they call him? Why they call him that he isn't? Actually, no, wait, go back. I want to go to I want to go to the satanic verses. I heard you were speaking about that a lot. I want to discuss you, that. You want to switch to satanic verses, guy? Did he just call it satanic yeah. verses? He called it satanic verses. Huh? No, I want to go to the satanic no, verses you, because you apparently called, you lost. You called your Quran satanic verses. Let's say, you said let us go to satanic verses. Uh, yeah, I told you to go to the satanic verses. Yes, you said let us go to the satanic verses. So you admit that the Quran is a satanic verses. You said that, not me. I, I'm not the one who mentioned the word satanic or and the word verses. No. It is you who said satanic. It's education illegal versus. where you are. It's education illegal where you are. Say, guys, is it him who said satanic verses or illegal? Me? Is education illegal where you are? What? What? Is education illegal where you are? I don't understand what he's saying. Guy, what he's saying? Anyway, just go to the verse. The supposed satanic. No, no, what, what you said? What you said? What he said? Nothing. Go to the supposed satanic verses. Okay, yes. hey, he kept repeating again. He just said satanic verses. Okay, oh, said supposed. <laughs> supposedly, smart. <laughs> open your Supposedly, ears. you said to me, "Let us go to the supposedly. satanic verses." <laughs> what supposedly? <laughs> same time, same time. What do you mean supposedly? Allah, He says that He will take what Shaitan He throw in your, uh, <laughs> in your in the tongue of Muhammad. So, what do you mean supposedly? Allah, He confirm it. We're talking about Lat and Uzza and Manat. The one about uh, Lat and no, Uzza no and Manat. No problem. Chapter twenty-two, verse number fifty-two. It says Shaitan He throw falsehood in Muhammad's mouth. So yes, it's satanic. The Quran confirmed that He throw it in Muhammad in the Quran. <laughs> Read the ayah again. Read I, the full I, ayah. I, remember, I can't read. I'm prophet. Prophet don't read in Islam. Read ayah 52. You read it. You read it. I am a prophet. Prophet don't read. Never did we send. Prophets in Islam, they are scientifically accurate without knowing anything. Where does the verse say that shaitan threw something into Abu Muhammad's mouth? Are you saying? Oh, to, are you saying to me? Are you saying to me that Shaitan he did not throw it in his mouth? He threw it in his ass. Read the ayah again. Where he throw it? Never hold did we on, hold on, guys. He just said. He just said. He just said. Hold on. Just, he just. He just said. He just said. Where it says in the verse, Allah, Shaitan he throw it in his mouth. So I am asking you, Shaitan he throw it where? If it's not in his mouth, in his ass. If he was. What? If he wanted. If he wanted, what is it? Abdul, do you know what even Allah is? Allah is it? mean? What does the man mean? You're a prophet. He hoped that Shaitan will give him satanic verses, will make people believe in him. Is that correct? Yeah, jahil. Well, in the front of everybody, what if we show the interpretation that you're a prophet? He wished that he would receive verses will make the the people who worship the three daughters of Allah like him. Ah, yeah, the, the weak narration which you clowns like using. Huh? Uh, 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 you, you can say whatever you want. We can show the, the, the reference. The weak narration. What, what, what do you think? Do you, can we show the reference? Can you show us the reference? Who is the one who wish? What it says he, he wish? What Muhammad he wished? He wished that Allah will give him satanic verses because those verses will make people believe in him. This is what happened. This is what it says. Are you there? Muhammad, he made a wish that Allah will give him verses, will make his belief accepted by those who worship the three daughters of Allah. So Allah gave him verses to worship Allah daughters. For this is the only difference between Muhammad and uh, the rest of his tribe. All of them, they believe in Allah. They worship Allah. The difference is, do we accept the three daughters of Allah or not? So what happened? Allah, he gave Muhammad satanic verses to make them believe in Muhammad. Is that true or I'm lying, Mansoor? You are lying. Huh? I'm lying? 
Yes, you are. Swear by Allah that I'm lying. Show me the hadith. Show no, me the swear by Allah. No, swear by Allah that I'm lying. Go ahead. Swear by Allah I'm lying. Show me the hadith and show me the narration. I see they are scared. Like? He's scared to swear by Allah. Like, show me, show me, show me. You know, show like me. Hold on. Are you sure I'm lying or not? So are you sure I'm lying or not? You are sure? Yes. As long as you are sure, swear by Allah, I'm lying. Go ahead. What happened? Swear by Allah that I am lying. Did you read the article about how to debate the Christian prince? Never say yes, never say no. Just show him, tell him, show me. Is that what you do now? Mr. Show me. So you apparently bring asking you for proof is wrong now. He, he swear by Allah, I'm lying. I say, your prophet, he made a prayer to Allah to send him verses will make the pagan accept him. Allah, he sent them verses. And those verses is to worship the three daughters of Allah. Who the reference? Say I'm lying. Yes, you are lying. No, so the reference. Swear by Allah, I'm lying. Who the reference? Bro? Swear by Allah. Who the reference? Okay, before I show you the reference, what no, the what, what, what the what the word them. what the word tamanna mean? Wished. Uh -huh. oh, yes, guys, yes, Muhammad he wished. Hold on. Muhammad, he wished, he wished for what? We are getting closer. He just <laughs> said, uh, so, okay, okay. So Muhammad, he wished, he wished for what? He wished for what? He just to wish, wish, wish? What the, this is the religion of wish, wish? He wished what? It, it, was it the birthday of Muhammad? He made a wish. So Allah, he wished. Muhammad, he wished for what? You agreed. You said, okay, this is Tamanna. Tamanna mean he wished. Everybody heard you. Okay. So now he wished. He wished for what? Are you searching Google? No, I'm reading the tafsir of Ibn Kathir. I mean, the, the tafsir of Ma'arif al Quran. You want tafsir Ibn Kathir? No, Ma'arif al Quran. Well, who this is? Who is the one who wrote this tafsir? Who wrote which tafsir? Ma'arif al Quran. Who, who is the one who wrote this tafsir? Hello? I cannot remember the guy's name right now. You don't know his name? I cannot remember his name. You don't know the name? I don't remember the guy's name. Really, what the, so you don't even know. You see, I you don't. You said donkey. I, you said donkey. The one who do not know. So you mentioned the name of a book, but you don't know the the book is. I never. Said but what if, doesn't it, know what if it's written by Shia? What if it's written by Hindu? I mean, who is the one who wrote the book? Is he a Muslim? Yes. Okay. Like, read for us what it says in Ma'arif al Quran. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, where is this? Uh, uh, this shows that the words of uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Nabi carry different meaning Though there is no consensus As to the precise nature of the difference our, For our purpose It is enough to understand that Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Is a person whom Allah Ta'ala designed Designated with a mission To reform his people And who receives the revelation from him he may receive a scripture and a code of laws, or he may be commanded to convey the message of an earlier book and code of law. Until now, so until now, now you are reading an article, you did not give an answer. He wished for what? Tell me in the book you Abdul, tell me in the book you are reading. Tell me tell me in the book you are reading. Your prophet he wished for what? The question about the word wish. He wished for what in that book you are reading? Uh, yeah. About what he recites. In this verse, the word Tamanna has been used as a synonymous for Qara'a, thus, uh, thus Aminta would mean Qara'ata, 
This verse explains that the disputes raised by the disbelievers in regards to Allah's message is not something new, as similar doubts were raised by earlier people, as well with their prophets, pre uh, presented, uh, presented to them the message of truth. And the disbelievers, the explanation of the verse is quite clear and straightforward, and thus has been adopted by many commentators, including Abu, Abu Hayyan in his uh, Bahar al-Muhti. However, some books of tradition have reported here are incidents which is not proved which is not proved by authentic sources this incident is known as hadith hadith ul hadith ul gharq what gharain gharain some scholars have held, have held that it is invent that is in, that it is invented by some heretics and enemies of islam by even those who believe this tradition to be worthwhile have taken they have taken pains to remove the doubt which the words raise about the categories and undisputable undisputed laws of Quran and Sunnah. So what does that tafsir say? That this that the satanic verses, the supposed made up story of the satanic verses, is based on what a weak narrations which which heretical groups have fabricated, which you clowns love using all the time. Are you done? Yes, I'm done. All right. You mentioned Abu Hayyan. Here we go. This is Abu Hayyan. We'll get you busted. Remember, you said Abu Hayyan said. Abu Hayyan is my friend. Here we go. This is Abu Hayyan. Say hello to Abu Hayyan. So according to Abu Hayyan, you're a prophet. He receives satanic verses. So this is who talking? This is Ibn Hayyan. Let us see what Ibn Abu Hayyan is saying. You can see the screen, right? What do you think, can you translate it? Can you can do you see my screen? Can you translate it? Do you see the screen? Yes, I can see the, st okay. the screen. Okay. So, it says here, this is the word tamanna. Do you see it? Tamanna. Yes. All right. And here it says at tamanni nihayatu taqdeer wa minhu al-muniya wa maniya wa fatu al-insan lil waqt alladhi qaddarahu Allah. So the Prophet, he wished to the Prophet, to Allah, to make a destiny, to make a decree, to make those people believe in him. What he did, he sent him the satanic verses. This is Abu Hayyan, the one you mentioned his name in the tafsir. And this is his book. And what does he say about that narration? That it's a fabrication. No. Hold on. First of all, first of all, first of all if you say this is a fabrication, this means the Quran is a fabrication because the Quran confirm that the Quran, the Quran, the Quran confirm that this is a true story. The Quran confirm that this is a true story. How we know? Read the verse because the verse after it says that those verses which Shaitan he throw, they will be trial for those who believe in Allah. It will be a disease in their heart. So these verses are not taking the Quran confirm that they are still in the Quran. Otherwise, they cannot be a trial. Show me where it is in the Quran. It says in the front of you, you verse number 53, it says, Allah will make huh? those thrown by shaitan a trial for those who their heart is a disease. You said so, that the satanic right? verse is still in the Quran. Show me where it is. Show you what? You're making a thing now to show it. You want me to show you the three doors of Allah? Go ahead, let's see. Okay, hold on. Who care if it is the three daughters of Allah or four daughters of Allah? Show, what what, show we, everybody what we care right. for, what we care for, that you Muslims, you try your best to say this is a fake story, but if it's a fake story, there's yeah, no way there's no way Muslim will report a story is fake because we can find this in every Islamic interpretation. So if you give me a book written yesterday. By somebody, it's in the if, if you give me a book by yes, yesterday made by Abdul saying this is a fake story, we laugh at you. Huh? We laugh at you. You said to me that this story is fabricated by the enemy of Allah, but those are Muslims. How this is story? How this is story is fabricated? Listen, Abdul. How this is story is fabricated by the enemies of Allah, and the one who wrote the stories are Muslims. Who are Muslims? Are you really that intellectually challenged? Abdul, who is the one who said this story? Are you that are you really that intellectually challenged? Who is the one who read this story for us? Huh? 
Who is the one who gave us this story? I don't know who gave it, and I don't care because it's a heretical. No, we care because I... because the one who gave it is Ibn Her Abbas <laughs> and uh, uh, Al Qurathi, etc. And those are big scholars in Islam, not potatoes who came to two to, to years after now, like in YouTube, like the one you named for me, did not even know how to read the book. This is Ibn Abbas. He is the one who's quoting the story. قال ابن عباس and Muhammad ibn Ka'b al-Qurathi وغيرهما من المفسرين look how many big name ibn Abbas Allah Prophet he named ibn Abbas only to explain the Quran only he did not name anyone he said may Allah make you the ink of knowledge ibn Abbas so Muhammad he named only one person to explain the Quran that is ibn Abbas so what ibn Abbas says لما رأى صل... let us read Google translation here it says, when he was reading to Quraysh, Allah, he sent to him this chapter of An-Najm. So the prophet, he did read it. And when he arrived to the words where he says, do you see Allah and Al-Uzza wa Manat with the third? Shaitan, he throw in his tongue. Those Gharani, those goddess, those God, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So those 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 people of Quraysh they bowed down and he bowed down with him except one person. Mm -hmm. Now is that Ibn Abbas talking? You said in the in the book you read for me that this is a fabrication made by the enemies of Islam. Is Ibn Abbas from the enemies of Islam? No, Ibn Abbas is not an enemy of Islam. So and as I already explained, so why is Ibn Abbas, why is Ibn Abbas the saying so? And the messenger of God. May God's He's prayers and peace be upon him. Huh? He's narrating the weak narration. The, the heretical what weak narration? Uh, it says, where it says weak narration here? It says Ibn Abbas says so. Read it. This is, a, this is your interpretation. This is Tafsir al-Baghawi, the master of Ibn Kathir, the master of Islam. Listen carefully. Qala Ibn Abbas, who said... Ibn well, Abbas and many other Mufassirin, many others, not only him. People, you jahil. <laughs> Ibn Abbas is <laughs> So let us make it simple. So the Muslim books, one book says this is a true story. Ibn Abbas report the story, and many yeah, other Mufassirin say the story, and this is a true story. And then the Muslim today, in order to fix it, they make new books saying this is a fabricated story, brother. Those are written by the enemies of Allah. Ibn Abbas, the enemy of Allah. And here you see, it says it clearly, when he arrived to the verse where he says, do you see Allah, Al-Uzza, and Manat, the third? Shaitan, he threw in his tongue, you must worship the goddess, the daughters of Allah. Read it. Satan put done? on his tongue what he was telling himself and wishing for. Those are the most exalted cranes, and their intercession is hoped for. Do you see it? So he was wishing for, done? Muhammad was wishing for that. So Allah gave him what he was wishing for. And then the disbelievers, they loved that, and they were happy. So when Quraysh, they heard this, they heard what he said, they bowed down with him, worshipping the three daughters of Allah, all together, except one person, because he could not. Not even one person in the mosque, he did not bow down, except one, because he's old. All of them, they bow down, worshipping the three daughters of Allah, including your prophet. Are you done? Listen. When the Quraysh yes, heard this, they rejoiced over it, and the messenger of God, may God bless him and grant him peace, proceeded to recite it. He recited the entire shura and prostrated at the end of the shura. The Muslims prostrated with his prostration, and all the polytheists in the mosque prostrated. Not a believer nor an infidel remained in the mosque but prostrated, except al ibn al mura and Abu Hiyya. Sayyid bin al -Az, they took a handful of batha and raised it to their foreheads and prostrated on it. Here you see that prostration is a prayer of the pagan Arab. So, Are you uh, done? so is the Muslim. Do you notice, guys? The, the pagan Arab, they pray the same as the Muslims. This is nothing new. So those are pagan, and the Muslim, they agree that they are pagan. How they pray? They prostrate. They put their head in the ground. Muhammad, 
he wished to receive satanic verses. Allah gave him satanic verses. What he wished for? Something will make the disbelievers close to him. So they agree with him and they pray with him. And this is why Muhammad, he mentioned this. And look, and then here, Muhammad, the hypocrite, they said to him, Quraysh, they spread after the, the prayer. And they said, Muhammad, he never spoke good about our God as today. He spoke many times good about them, but today is the best. He worshiped the three rows of Allah. Then, a while after, a few weeks, it says here that Jibreel came to Muhammad. In this story here, Falamma Amsa, which means in the same night, Jibreel came to him and he said to Muhammad, Hey, Jib Muhammad, what you did? What you did, man? He said to him, You said to the people something I did not say to you. So the Prophet, he became so sad and he's scared of Allah. So Allah, he sent this verse to bet him like a bet like a doe and he was merciful on him am i lying or this what it says yes you are lying read it and translate let's actually go to the what the verse says right go to surah Al read it read it and translate let's go see if i'm lying Nadim, read it read it you said i'm lying you said i'm lying go to surah read it and read it no, read it you said i'm lying read it and translate Yes, Alan, go to Surah Al-Najm. Right, let's refute your I'm here, Go to Surah Al-Najm. I'm here. No, read the story. Read the story. Is Al-Baghawi. Open Surah Al-Najm. Is Al-Baghawi. Is Al-Baghawi. Is that what it says? Am I reporting a fake Open story? Open Surah Al-Najm. Hold on. Open Surah Al-Najm. Don't try to escape. Open Surah Al-Najm. Don't try to escape. Don't try to escape. Don't try to escape. Don't try to escape. Open. Don't run away and open Surah Al-Najm. Is Al-Baghawi. Is Al-Baghawi here? Is Al-Baghawi here saying this is a fake story? Hey, princess, don't try to run and open the Quran. <laughs> open the Quran and let's read the full context of the verse. Come on. Don't try to run away. I'm reading the Quran. What's wrong with you? <laughs> open the verse. Open the verse. Open the whole of Surah Why you why, whole of why you don't want to tell people what your scholars are saying? Those aren't open Christian prints. Open Surah al So do you agree that your scholars and the top, the cousin of your prophet, he said, yes, shaitan, he throw words to worship no, the three leaders of Allah. Let's read the full context of the verse. Huh? Open Surah Al-Najm. Let's read the full context. So what we were doing from the beginning? Open to Arayatu Mullata Wal Uzza Wa Manata Thalitha Al Ukhra. Open that verse. We are not reading that verse. We are reading this verse. No, read the Quran. No, no. We are reading the Quran. We are reading this verse here, here, here. Let's read. This is the verse. This is the verse we are talking about. Chapter 22, <laughs> verse number 52. <laughs> Chapter 22, <laughs> verse 52. Uh -huh. Open that one, Surah Al-Najm. Uh, read it for us, go ahead. Okay, read, for, read for us, read it for us. Okay, what do you want to say? Okay, read it for us, read, read for us. Read it for us, so we can... <laughs> ما أن سميتموها أنتم وآباؤكم ما أنزل الله بها من سلطان. Verily, those are names that you and your people have created. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala never revealed it. Are you done? I'm still talking. You are lying. Allah Open. is upset because Open. look at the stupid Quran. Allah he said, uh huh, for you the male and for him the female. It's like a whore is talking. Is that how God he talked? So what the problem with Allah? He don't like to have female daughter. He want to have a male daughter. The verse in front of you. Read the next verse. No, read the verse. The verse does it say? Is it? Does it say? A hand for you the male and for him the female. What the problem? Why Allah is upset because he, they have the male and for him the female? What is this? Answer. What is this? You done? Are you done? Why Allah saying for you the male, for him the female? So what the problem? Allah don't like to have female. Is that an execution? Read the next. Are you scared of reading the next two verses? No problem. We will read all of them one by one. What, what kind of God he say? What kind of God he say? Okay, hold on. Is Islam opposing having a female daughters? Do Allah favor to have male? 
Don't run away and read the next two verses. Um, yes, we are reading one by one. You are the one who's running away. Me. Guys, it is him who said to me, go read chapter 53, verse number 19, 20. But he want to jump number 21. He don't want to He don't want to read number 20, uh, 21. <laughs> because it's an embarrassing. So I'm asking you, do Islam oppose a person? Is that like something hateful for Allah to have a daughters, but he like to have male? Yes or no? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't have males, daughter, males or females. No, 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 no. This is another, this is another question. This is another question. Allah, Allah, is saying, Allah is saying, is it for you the male, for him the female? So what is the problem? Allah doesn't have either sons I'm or daughters. I'm not asking you if you have or not. This is not the question. What Allah is saying here, explain. You can search Google. <laughs> Come on. What? I told you read the next verse. What is the person saying? What is the problem? Allah what? saying what? For him, the female, for you, the male. So what Allah is saying? Explain. Read the next two verses. Why next two? You wanna, why you want to skip this one? Is it a shameful one? The next two verses refute your Is it embarrassing? Argument. Is it embarrassing? Explain this one for us. What do you want me to explain in that verse? Why he is saying for him the female and for you the male? What is upset from? What the problem? Why uh, is, people why are saying he is talking about talk. male and female? Why he is saying to them, what's wrong with you? You give me the female and for you, you have the male. So why Allah, what is the problem with having females? The fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't have sons or daughters is the issue, maybe? This is not the question. Ever thought of this, is not the qu this is not what he said. He said, for you the male and for him the female. So Allah is saying, I want the opposite. He is saying this is unjust division. Read it. This is indeed a division most unfair. What kind of God this God is? So what is fair? That he have the male and they have the female? This is God talking? Are you sure? No. So that's not what why he is saying you, this is unfair division. Explain. <laughs> Why he's I, saying this is unfair? Why? Okay, okay. Listen, I don't want to repeat myself a thousand times. Come on, Mansoor. Explain. So Allah, he said this, and he said this. Two verses. Guys, do you want to hear Mansoor explain them? They're very simple. I mean, don't make it a drama. Explain. So for you, the male, for me, the female, this is unfair division. Allah says that. Explain to us. Go ahead. I'm listening. It's refuting the idea that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't have, it's refuting the idea that people have that claim that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has daughters and or that this is not say, about Allah not Allah having Allah daughter. Allah. He is saying for you the male. You are you are you, you are dodging the question. Why he is saying for you the male, for me the female, this is indeed unfair division. Allah wants to. I don't question why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something. Oh, you Allah don't, Allah you don't question way. him. No, we question him. That's you because you're your because, problem. No, because you are your be, because you are stupid. You don't dare to question. This is stupid. This is no way God oh, will say I'm that. God will say, Oh, well, for you, the female, for the you, the male, and for me, the female. I don't accept that. This is indeed an unfair division. Oh, well. Hold on. Isn't uh, it the Quran I, says that the Arab, when they have a female daughter, their oh, face. Uh, their face go uh, uh, like bad. Is it true? The Quran says that the Arab, the Arab, when they have news that they have a daughter, they get upset. It turned to be. Why are you jumping? It jumping? is. Hold on. No, I'm showing you a contradiction because the Quran, says, the Quran says. Why are you hold on, hold on. The Quran says that. If this, book, if this book Why is made by other than Allah, if this book is made by other than Allah, you will find contradiction. Look, guys, look at this. When the news of a birth of a female child brought to any of them, which means those Arab, his face become dark. Do you see it? 
This is the Quran. Yeah. So he get upset. Okay. So he get upset. Okay. Get upset. Chapter 16, verse number 58. So now Allah is an Arab male. He get upset. He said to them, Aha, for you the male and for me the female. This is for sure and just division. So when the Quran says the bad ones is the one who get upset for having a daughter, that is him. No, Allah subhanahu wa gets, uh, gets angry when people attribute daughters or sons. No, hey, hey, hold on. Hey, guys, listen carefully, listen, listen carefully, listen carefully. Did you just say that daughters and sons are the same in Islam? Huh? Huh? Did you say Allah, he says daughter and son is the same in Islam? Did you say that? No, I said Allah subhanahu wa gets angry whenever somebody attributes to him a daughter or a son. No, he said it clearly for you. That's the, the sons and uh, for for me, the, the daughters. This is what he said. Why you are making things up? Why you are adding Quran, things? Why you are add, why you are adding things there? Listen, listen, why you are adding things? Come on. I mean, Abdul, people are watching. So listen, here he said, for you, the males. So what the problem? Unjust. Where is the unjust? The unjust is that those Arab, they choose for them to have male sons. And they gave Allah female daughters. But the same Quran saying that those Arab, when the news come to them that they have a female daughter, his wife, she gave him birth, his face become black, you know, black. And Allah here talking about you or about him, obviously Allah himself, his face now is getting black. Allah, he heard the news that those people they are giving him a female and keeping for themselves the male so his face go black and he said indeed this is unfair division allah is upset i think my sword died are you done no i'm not done what are you talking about? Your prophet, he can't take more. Your prophet, are you done speaking? Are you done speaking so, so why you don't want to tell us why? What is the and the, the division which is unfair? Explain to people, not to me. There isn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gets angry whenever somebody attributes a son or a daughter. No, he's not saying mm -hmm. that. He is saying, For you, the male, for me, the female. This is what he's making angry. It's not about giving him. Uh, sons or daughters it's about he don't like to have females is it true that islam against to have female deity yes or no are you <sighs> what Waqa over your Surah Maryam, right? First, uh, verse, I think, eight, uh, Surah Maryam, open Surah Maryam, right? Why you keep jumping from place to place like a monkey? What's wrong with you, Mansoor? I'm showing you what happens whenever, Allah, whenever somebody attributes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a, a son or, 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 or to call it a son. Okay, let me Surah ask Maryam, you. Let me ask you. If Allah want to take a son, if Allah had, had, Allah, had Allah wished to have a son ever, huh? had Allah wished to have a son ever, No. So the Quran is a lie. Waqal, why are you running to another topic? I'm no, speaking I'm, over I'm here about. Running. Here we go. It says in the Quran, had Allah wished to have a boy, a boy, not a girl. Allah don't like to have girls. He like to have boys. Had he wished to have a boy, he will elect from the best he have from what he created so according to the stupid quran if allah wanted to have a son he will chosen from those who he created but look how stupid is that so if allah is against having a son why now he is relaxing saying had allah very willed, very had allah will to take a son or by the way how you how he says such a stupid thing? I mean, how he is his son and he is choosing him from the son of somebody else? I mean, do you see the stupidity? How uh, is that adoption or the real son? Your stupid Quran cannot even find a good Arabic because when it says "Law arad Allah an yattakhida waladan," Allah wanted to have a son. Walad is maulud, begotten, begotten, which means he is born. 
So if Allah want to give birth to a son, he will chose him from those who he created. But how he is born from him and he is a created an offspring. This is your stupid Quran. Are you finished, clone? I'm not finished. There's endless but stories, no, my friend. What's wrong with you? I can spank your prophet on a stop. So Allah, if Allah, he wanted to have a son, he will take his son from who? Are you done? Can Allah have a son? Yes or no? If yes, from who? All right, let's now go back to the original argument about Lat Manat and Uzzan. Oh, he keeps jumping like a monkey. You see here now, because in the member he's saying he won't change the topic. No. So he keeps changing the topic. We keep jumping from a branch to branch. No. Want, Mansoor, Mansoor, oh, you Mansoor, I want, I want your icon, one of Mansoor, honestly, your, your, you I, your, icon, your icon in Discord is pink. Is that the color of your ass? Huh? You, you are a monkey. You are those monkeys in Africa. They have red ass. Yes. Chapanzi, listen, you keep jumping from place to place. You the person in front of you explain to the people why, what, what kind of a stupid verse this verse is. How Allah you know that. How Allah is saying, had will he to take a son of a spring? Listen, listen. When Allah he said, if you want to take a son, how he's how it is a son and he's from his creation. <laughs> and then you try to jump to another topic which is completely no, irrelevant. It's not, I'm not the one. Okay, let us go back to the previous topic. No problem. Here we go. So Shaitan he gave Muhammad satanic verses. This is a story and I told you confirmed. That is based on this is a story confirmed by Ibn Abbas. Do you condemn? You that, do you condemn wait, Ibn Abbas saying this is a true story? Do you condemn Ibn Abbas you know for saying the story? Because the Quran itself refused the narration in the very next two verses, which you religiously choose to not read, which is "Alakum al-Dhakar wa al-Unsa tilka idham qismatun diza in hiya illa asma'un sammaytuha antum wa abaukum ma azallah bi amin sulta." Okay. That verily those are names which you and your people have attributed and created and attributed it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That verse is literally saying that what you call it that day is a false narration and that people are attributing that to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why that narration is false and it's even going against the Quran. That's just by the mere fact that it's going against the Quran means that it's a weak narration and it's a false narration. All right. In front of everybody, are I, you ready? I want you I want you to confirm what you just said. Are you saying that like the three daughters of Allah are fake? The three daughters? No, I said that those are names that the pagan Arabs made up and attributed it to Allah Subhanahu exactly, Wa Taala. Exactly. Exactly. So I'm saying to you, is it a fake? They are not exist. Are they exist? The three daughters of Allah, or they are not exist? Did I say that? Did I say that? They yeah, Mar, when did I ever say that? I'm, asking you, I'm, I'm not going to call you. I'm not going to call you donkeys because I have respect to donkeys, but I have no respect to Muslims. Sorry. So now I'm asking you: Are you saying? Are you saying? Are you saying that the three daughters of Allah are not exist? They are false. Yes what? or no? No, I said that the people made those names up. Okay, no problem. But are they true? A daughter of Allah exist or they don't exist? Allah doesn't have daughters. Okay, but are they Allah exist? Allah are Allah they, Allah are Allah they Allah exist Allah. in real life? Are they exist? Are we? Are they exist in real life? People made those names up, so they are not exist. Correct. Okay, explain to me what you mean by whether they exist or not. Are they real? Are they real or not? Are they fake? Are they real? So is theirs in real? Real, life? as in people actually call uh, have statues called Lat Malat and Uzza. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala actually has daughters. Explain your position. See, guys, you want to answer. So, are they real? Are they real? Those, the three daughters of Allah, are they exist? Are they real? Or they are fake? Why are you scared to answer? Explain, what you mean by exist. Huh? Explain to me what you mean by exist. Wait, let me elaborate. Like, right? I am exist. I'm real. I have a flesh. I am real. You have a flesh. You are real. Are they real? Or they are not? Let me finish. Let me finish. Are if you're talking real, about you, are they real? Or they are not? Actions which people which are the pagan they Arabs real do. or they are not. I'm explaining. Are they Can real? Are they exist for real or they are not? They were not there to answer. But they too. 
if you're talking about those names that the three pagan Arabs made up, then yes, I they am are not talking about just pagan names. Arabs I'm saying, are they Allah names? Allah. Okay, are they names for um, fiction? Allah. Are they she names? No, are they names for have... fiction? Are they names for fiction? Uh, 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 created this uh, uh, character, or they are real character. I already explained to you this before. If you are referring to no, the I don't want explanation. I want either they are real or they are fake. Or they exist. Do Allah have daughters? Yes or no? Allah Subhanahu wa doesn't have daughters. Is I already told you. Is Al Uzza a real person? Is it exist? I told you. If you are referring to the names which the people, which the pagan, I am Arabs asking you: Is Al Uzza is exist? Al Uzza no. as a person? Is it exist? Are you listening? Is it exist? Are you listening? Is it exist? Huh? Okay. Is Al Uzza, Allah, and Manat or exist three women in the time of Muhammad? Yes or no? There are three idols in the time of uh, Muhammad. Sallallahu I'm not talking yes. about idols. I said women. Women? Yeah. I don't know whether there were actually women called black men. <laughs> well, according to your prophet, he that, killed Al Uzza, brother. Non Muslims who do right. Here we go. This is your prophet. He said Khalid bin Walid and Khalid, he killed Al Uzza. He slaughtered Al Uzza. So you keep saying to me Al Uzza is a fake. The Quran says Al Uzza is a fake. But the prophet, when, when Khalid, he killed her, a woman, Muhammad said to him, that was Al Uzza. Read it. Do you see it? He killed the woman. He cut his hair, her head. What Muhammad he said? To him, that was Al Uzza, and this is Tafsir Ibn Kathir and Najm. The same verses we are reading. Listen, this is the same verses. This is the same verses we are reading. Ibn Kathir. Narration. What? Give me narration. Narration of your ass. Get out of here. Each time I give him something, give me the reason. Who said that? This is not true. This is weak. This is <laughs> so. How you can kill the Uzza if the Uzza is a fake woman? If she does not exist, this is your story. This is Ibn Kathir, the chapter of An Najm, fifty-three. Your prophet he sent Khalid, and Khalid he saw a very sexy woman. With very crazy hair, Harry Potter. When he went first time, he just break the idol. Okay, he told him, "Go back. You are not finishing your, your mission." He cut the trees. He said to him, "Go back. You did not finish your mission." When he went back, he saw the servants of Al Uzza. They saw him, and they start invoking, calling Al Uzza. When Khalid bin Walid approached, it, he found a naked woman whose hair was untidy and who was throwing sand on her head. Khalid, he killed her. Can you tell me, the Muslim, they say we are against killing women. Yeah? That's what they say to us. Khalid, he killed her. For what? With the sword. And he went back to the Messenger of Allah. What Muhammad said to him? That was Al-Uzza. Potato. So you keep going in a round circle for the coming century, trying to avoid the embarrassment. But where you go? Your prophet is a prophet of shaitan. And he receives satanic verses. And this is a story registered by you. Not by us. And if you want to say to us, whoever say this story is a fraud, I agree. That is your prophet. I'm not against the word of fraud at all. And this is here. I showed you the Tafsir al qurtubi I showed you the Tafsir al baghawi And this is Tafsir Ibn Kathir in English. Everybody can see it. Everybody can read it. Let me pause for everybody. And here it says, the story of Al-Uzza. Do you see it? Allah was a man who uh, used to mix a swig of four pilgrim, Allah is a man. I mean, guys, look, just just to show you the madness, Allah is a man. 
So how they say that Allah have three daughters? It turned to be Allah is a man. Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> it turned to be not daughters. It turned to be a man. He's a man. <laughs> the Muslim, they have transgender confusion about the daughters of Allah. It turned to be Allah is a man. And then it says here, uh, here explain to you the idol of Al-Uzza and then if you go down here we go the story so he sent Khalid ibn al-Walid he told him go and finish your mission you have not finished it yet Khalid he went back and when he arrived there he saw the servant of Al-Uzza and they were invoking calling Al-Uzza Al-Uzza came out and she was naked women whose hair was untidy Throwing sand in her head, Khalid he killed her and he went back to Muhammad. What Muhammad said to him? That was Al Uzza. So, is Al Uzza a true daughter of Allah? Exist or it is not? It is exist. Let us see this uh, person, he's waiting here for long. Uh, what his name? HX. Go ahead. Hello? Hello, hello. Uh, okay, uh, Assalamu Alaikum. Can you speak louder, please? <clears throat> uh, so, I think uh, you know my situation. I know your situation. Yeah. What is your situation? Okay. Um, because I am Shia. But I am I'm not fully sure. You are Shia, but you are not fully sure. Sure about what? About Islam, you mean? Yeah. Islam is a great religion, my friend. What are you talking about? In in Islam, you will have a banana in heaven. I mean, you do you hate banana? What's wrong with you? Allah will give you a lot of women and their legs is open anytime. You don't even need to open them. They are always up, ready. I mean, just, you know. Yeah, what's wrong with this guy? This guy, he don't appreciate Allah? What's wrong with this guy? He's a Shia. Crazy, crazy people, you know. I'm trying to fix his brain. Sorry, guys. Uh, excuse me. Let me let me uh, put uh, up my sleeves to fix it. Listen to me carefully. You know what are you missing? Allah will give you a penis scan if 100 women in two seconds. Even me, I cannot do it. Even uh, my rabbit, this, he cannot do it. So, this is probably, hold this is on. Probably you don't know what are you talking about, my friend. Be careful. You are talking about the religion of Allah and you are saying you are confused. What's wrong with you? It must be the food. It must be the kuffar. Go ahead. Uh, so, I watch your videos a lot. Can you speak louder, uh, HX, please? Can you speak louder? Your your voice is very soft, hard to hear you. Okay, one sec. <coughs> uh, okay, so I am um, watch your videos a lot. Okay. And uh, I am. Um, uh, you say some convincing things, but I would like to maybe know more about why you think this is a wrong religion most things you say is against sunni so i don't really see much you saying against shia so oh you want me to speak against shia now uh yeah but well, first of all i cannot talk much about shia because shia religion is so so good uh you know for me i really like it um like as an example uh, we have uh, uh, the advice. I don't know if you know the uh, the advice between the Prophet Muhammad and Ali. Do you know it? Uh, no. Yeah. So uh, your Prophet, he was talking to Ali, and he mm -hmm. gave him advices about uh, sexual intercourse. Uh, so as okay. an example, uh, your Prophet he told Ali, "Don't have sex with your wife after noon, for if you do so." your son will have cross eyes and according to scientific studies around the world especially in japan 
uh, there is a, a scientist, his name Yama Aidulai Yama. He confirmed that if you have sex with your wife after noon, that will cause a defect in the DNA and cause a problem for your son. In fact, me, myself, I have a cross eyes. Are you there? I, I don't yeah. see you. All right, sorry, I cannot see you. But anyway, so if you want to talk about the Shia books, the Shia books is way more hilarious than the Sunni books. You don't know? Uh, I've never seen this. All right, let me get you some reference then, as long as you do not know. Uh, let us see, let us go to the Shia books. Even though I don't like to share such a sexual knowledge with everybody, I, people have to pay for it these days, you know, people are pervert. So the second you say sex, money come from everywhere. Uh, let us see, here we go. Okay, here I we know, go. Sir. This is, uh, let, let me show you. you, you see my screen? <clears throat> yeah. Do you know Arabic? Uh, no. All right, no problem. I will I will uh, translate. Uh, you know the book of Bihar al Anwar? Yeah, Lama Majlisi. Uh, Lama Majlisi. Big name. This is like the one who is bigger than Al Bukhari, than for the Shia. So this is Bihar yeah. al Anwar, very number 100, page number 281. Good? Mm -hmm. So here it says, Ya Ali, Muhammad saying to Ali, don't if your wife in the beginning of the month or at the end of the month for that child will be crazy and mental when she give birth what do you think about that uh, uh um i don't know i never had this before you never had sex in the beginning of the month okay try it let us continue yeah ali don't if your wife in the afternoon so if you if her afternoon your son will have a cross eyes do you know anyone cousins family friends they did such a bad ugly behavior having sex afternoon and then their son come with the cross eyes um <clears throat> i know it's haram it's haram in the afternoon i think they told you I it's heard. haram, but they did not explain to you why? Uh, no. Yeah, this is the reason. Because you will have, your son will have a cross eyes. So now if you walk in the street and you see somebody is a Shia and he have a cross eyes, the poor kid, his bad and his mom, you are stupid. They have sex in the afternoon. And is, let us continue. This, let us con this is Sahih. Yeah. yeah, this is authentic, very authentic. And then, okay. I mean, Muhammad is saying, yeah, Ali. It could be taqiyya. Sorry? This could be this could be taqiyya. This could be what? Taqiyya, taqiyya. No, no, no. This is taqiyya. is a different story. Taqiyya, when you talk to, so, to somebody else to lie to him. No, this is the Prophet talking to Ali. This is a conversation between so, Muhammad and Ali. Some, some hadith is written for taqiyya, so it's, no, it's no, not no, real. No, no, no. This is not. This is not. Taqiyya has nothing to do with this. Taqiyya is to lie to protect the faith. Here, this is Muhammad speaking to Ali, advising him about sexual intercourse. Oh Ali, don't speak during intercourse because if your wife she carry a child from that, he will be mute. He will be what? Mute. Did you see anyone mute in your town, H? Uh, no. Yeah. Well, if you see anyone, you should know that according to your prophet teaching in the Shia books, because the husband was talking, maybe he was saying to her, I like your butt, you know, or I like your boobs. Or she said to him, man your penis is so small so you don't should not talk i mean stupid people man i mean what the big mistake they should put something in their mouth like maybe a carrot don't talk during sex and then he says here and not anyone should look at his wife vagina because he should he should not look during the intercourse oh, because if you do that if you do that the sun will be blind okay but um what but i just told you don't look at the butt <laughs> come on you know we, we have to be careful you want to have a son he's blind just because you want to look at your wife butt you don't look at it ask the neighbor to do it for you he can describe it for you haram haram you cannot i mean the guy is if in the wife and he cannot look at her vagina he cannot look at his butt so what what, what he's seeing it have to be total dark huh otherwise the son will be blind 
No wonder Muhammad he was saying Aisha is so sexy. Aisha she said the Prophet was so good no, looking. Okay. See, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. We believe that uh, she is 19. She's not nine. Who, Aisha? Yeah. Who care, you know, Aisha, she was 19, she was nine. I mean, you Shia, you have tons of stories, but at the end of the day, you Shia, you say that Aisha, she was a whore, correct? Uh, I know some of them say this, I don't know. Yeah, so she was 19, she was at the <clears throat> age of 19, but she was a whore, according to Shia. What does that have to do with the Prophet? Well, uh, that, that's a good question. But do you agree that Shia they say she is a whore? Maybe she is. I don't know. No, you tell me. You are Shia. Tell me. Do you Shia believe Aisha was a bad woman? Yes or no? You curse her every day. Come on. Don't you curse her every day? Uh, yes. Okay. Let's say yes for sake of argument. All right. But look what the Quran is saying. According to the Quran, bad women, oh, I'm typing in English. Bad women, Allah will marry them to bad men. Correct? Mm -hmm. So if Aisha, she was a bad woman, that means Muhammad is a bad man. Uh, but it also says good women for good men. And exactly. Good women. But uh, No problem, guys. But he also say, Good women for good men. But if Aisha is a bad woman and you Shia agree, that means Muhammad is a bad man. <laughs> uh, and this verse actually showed the stupidity of the Quran author because it's not true. There's many good women married to good men, uh, you know, uh, good women married to bad men, and the opposite. But based on the Quran, Allah make destiny that bad women marry bad men. But this is false. This is alone is showing us that the one who wrote the Quran is a stupid, is not wise. Uh, and if Aisha is bad and she is married to Muhammad, and not only the Shia, they say not only Aisha is bad, even Hafsa. So now we have two bad women and one bad Muhammad. It's in front of you. This is the Quran. Okay, uh, but. Don't but. I, no but. Uh, Listen. We mentioned that already we cannot look at the butt. I mean, I don't know why you are doing this. Are you trying to make me have a son? He's a mute or something. We have to be careful. Look at this here. I will show you more wisdom. Oh, Ali, don't if your wife would desire. Hmm? So he if her would what? No, no, you don't cut the word. He don't mean that. He mean desire to other women. Look how decent Muhammad. But isn't it Muhammad, he saw a woman walking by, he get horny, he go to Zainab? So, oh, Ali, don't if your wife by a desire to other women, because if she got a bretnet, the son will be a gay. And I was wondering why some people are gay. Now we know. Look at this. No, this, this is not true. It says that in front of you. I'm showing you the reference. Do you want me to give you the page? I can give you the page if you want to, but let me give you the page. You can open it from your uh, side. It says it says desire of another woman, see? Yeah, yeah. If you desire other women, you have yeah. sex with your wife. But when you are having sex with your wife, let us say your wife, she looks so ugly, you know? But so, you you know, you desire that you are having sex with someone so beautiful, like Kamala Harris, you know? So, uh, 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 so you imagine Kamala, but you are if in your wife. If you do that, the son will be a gay. Okay, uh, but let's debate from Quran now. Debate? Really? That's Quran. a big word. Okay, let's debate from the Quran. I just saw the Quran. The Quran says bad women for bad men. So oh, if I, Allah... I'm... Hold on. If Allah saying that Allah will marry bad men for bad women... And Aisha and Shia agree that Aisha and Hafsa are bad women. That means we confirm that Muhammad is a bad man. Otherwise, the Quran is wrong. And therefore, Allah is wrong. That, therefore, Quran is not from God. Therefore, Muhammad is a fraud. Therefore, you are doomed. Therefore, you lose the debate. 
Therefore, you leave Islam. All of this from one verse. Okay, but you say that Quran says that Muhammad committed a sin, but we don't believe this. Can you prove? We don't but believe this. I say, I did not say uh, your God says, you know, what What the words uh, sin in Arabic? Do you know? Where? Is it them? Them, right? <clears throat> this is the Quran, chapter 48, verse number 2. Allah is praying to other Allah, saying, May Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad, in the past and the future. Do you see it? Uh, uh, what is the context? What's the tafsir? Uh, even, the, I mean, tafsir, see the Quran, tafsir. He said to me, let's go to the Quran. We show him the Quran, he says to us, tafsir. No, I I believe you, but I'm asking. No, no, I'm asking thing? you. Is Allah when He wrote the Quran, He it, like is He capable of explaining what He is saying? I mean, it's so easy, simple. May Allah forgive you, saying in the past, in the future. How you can even explain that? It's uh, so Allah is praying to other Allah. It's very simple. May Allah forgive you. Say, have you ever heard of God saying May Allah? That's weird. Your God is asking who. I say, may God forgive you, because I'm not God, correct? But if God, he say, may Allah forgive you, that means the one who is talking here is not is not God. What happened to this sheikh from Indonesia? My Skype is open, I have nothing. Potato, where are you? Indonesian uh, boy. Sorry, uh, H, I'm not talking to you, but there's an Indonesian sheikh, uh, he made me go up like now. I did not even rest. I was talking for four hours and he wanted to debate me and the coward, he did not show up. And my Skype is open. Potato. Okay, we go back to you, H. So as you see, the verse is so simple. May Allah forgive your sin. Do Muhammad have sin? If you say that Afsir says no, that will be stupid because the Quran says, may Allah forgive your sin. So Allah making a wish to forgive Muhammad's sin, but Muhammad don't have sin? That would be stupid. But anyway, Islam is a stupid. What you can say? Uh, it's like saying to Christian Prince, "May Allah make you tall." I'm already ten meter tall. What are you talking about? I can't even go inside, you know, in the like, you know, in that uh, train, you know. So what? They, may Allah forgive you, son. The Muslim they say to us, Muhammad is a perfect man, etc. And then we find the Quran, the Quran, saying Allah making a wish. That Muhammad said, maybe if Allah spoke to other Allah and they negotiate together, they will forgive his sin. Uh, no, it's just third person. He's a third person. By the way, I am, I, I, I know, I, I remember when I was a kid, my grandfather, he had a mirror in his house and I broke it, me, myself, you know. And then, when after I broke it, uh, I saw myself many individual. I wasn't sure who am I, which one is me. What do you mean th third person? Allah saying, may Allah forgive your sin. The one is talking is Allah. What kind of God he says, may Allah. He is even using the word, the name. Isn't it stupid to say, I'm okay, I'm a Christian prince. Is May Christian prince forgive you? I'm a Christian prince. And the word me is a wish. I make a wish as a supplication to God. So Allah praying to who? To Allah. But the Muslim they say to us, they have one Allah. All Allah. That's a lot of Allah. Uh, okay, fair enough. Uh... You know, I will tell you a story. My mom, when she gave birth to me, she said, may Allah take you back, you know? But because Allah is fake God, uh, I, I, I'm a here, you know, I mean, come on. She made a wish for the wrong God. So your God, Allah, he must be making a wish for the wrong Allah. What do you mean, may Allah forgive you, sin? Allah send an application to other Allah. How many Allah you have? This is stupid. 
Um, you want to drink water? I have water for you. It's from Zamzam. -Zam. You know Zamzam? -Zam? Yeah. You know what they call it? Zam and Zam. Two Zam in one time? That's too much headache, man. Zamzam. <laughs> -Zam. <laughs> the name is so funny and silly. Zamzam, Mam, Mam, Al Mam, Sam, Sam, Lamam. By the way, do you know the do you know the story about the lemon? The what? A lemon. No. Oh, this is a story you will like it. Me and you, we are men. Hey girls, just leave. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Baby, you can hear us, but don't look, okay? So according to your holy Quran, if a Muslim man he find a woman, let's say you go in the elevator, and the woman is sexy and you know it, and you touch her. And you kiss her and you play with her private part literally according to quran this is not even a sin that's nothing brother it is lamam is that true no what no okay here we go i mean come on you know i don't know what's your name by the way what's your name give me a name so i can call you hamad uh, Hussein. Hussein. Yeah, Hussein. Okay, my friend. Go ahead. So here it says, Illa Lamam. Well, where is the Lamam? If we search for the Lamam, it says Kalimat. What's wrong with the search engine? The Muslim search engine is messed up. Unbelievable. What is this, man? All right, let us go and uh, do better search. This is a chapter of An Najm, verse number 32, but here in the Quran, here. This website is messed up. Here we go. All uh, all those verses here is speaking about, but chapter 53, verse number 30, 53, verse 32, speaking about that. And here the Muslim translation says, small faults. What is a small fault? You read the interpretation. A guy, his name is Nabhanu Tamar. A married Muslim woman, she came to him. He said to her, Listen, let us go inside the store. I have something to sell you. She went inside, and according to the story, the man, Nabhan, he did with her everything the man he do with the women except intercourse. He told the prophet, the prophet maybe, he said, perhaps her husband is doing jihad. And he said to Nabhan, don't worry. This is a small fault. Is that true? Now we can show the interpretation for the story. This is the interpretation. We can show you from the Shia and from the Sunni. Okay, can you show the Shia tafsir? Yeah, we will, we will show you both. Hold on, just give me a second. So here, this is Al-Qurtubi. The chapter of An Najm. Here is the story about Nabhanu Tamar. He said, I did with her everything except intercourse. Everything. He was called Nabhan Al Tamar. He had a shop where he sold dates. And a woman came to him to buy dates from him, and he said to her, There is nothing better inside the shop than this. When she entered, he approached her, but she refused and left, and Nabin regretted it. He came to the Messenger of God, may God bless him and grant him peace, and said, O Messenger of God, there is nothing a man does that she does not do except intercourse. So what they did with her? everything except intercourse what the prophet said to him don't worry this is it, it a small she, fault it says she refused and left so they never did anything sorry sorry it says she refused and left what refuse no he did with her he said to her, he said i did with her everything the man do with the women except intercourse he did there's nothing that man does she did not, I did not with her except intercourse. So he did with her everything except intercourse. So he played with her private part. He played with her boobs. He kissed her. He touched her everywhere. 
and obviously you have orgasm but he didn't have intercourse what your prophet said to him this is lemon don't worry this is lemon the prophet he asked him uh, he wanted to have intercourse she refused but he did with her everything and then the the ban he became he felt sorry so he came to the prophet and he told him I did with her everything the man does except intercourse the 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 prophet said maybe her husband is doing jihad and then Allah he saying this verse saying that this is lemon so don't worry about it O messenger of God there is nothing a man does that he does not do except intercourse he said perhaps her husband invaded so this verse was revealed see this is your religion according to Islam the only thing is considered adultery is to put your penis in that's all anything else is not adultery Uh, Anything else is holding you to be stay a Muslim Shia? Okay, I watched one of your videos, uh -huh. and in it you say that Allah He predestines everyone who's gonna go heaven, who's gonna go hell. Yeah, but uh, don't you Muslim Shia believe in destiny? No, we don't believe. We say like it's not predestined; it's free will. We decide, not Allah. So. You say that? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Really? Well, what I know is the opposite. Uh, like, let us go to the to the uh, the book of Bihar al Anwar. Al Alam al Majlisi. He speak about the Qadariya. Uh, Yeah, we have to agree that the Shia they have on their own differences with those who believe in like the predestiny. But isn't it Allah? He created the whole world for the sake of Ali and Fatima and Hassan and Hussein. He created what? Huh? He created what? Yeah. So this is Qadariya. The whole world they created for their sake. So how we don't yeah, believe? How do how we don't believe in destiny? And then we be, we believe in the same time that every every creature is distant for the sake of Ali and Muhammad and their children. No, no, no. It means he created the universe as a gift for them. Exactly. So this is destiny. Did you choose? Based on this, destiny. did you choose? Did you choose to be created as a gift for Ali? No, you did not. This is destiny. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um. Okay, but can you prove in Quran about predestiny? Oh yeah, sure. This is the Quran says. Here. All those verses are speaking about any bad or good, even especially the bad, it happened only by the permission of Allah. So nothing will happen except by predestiny. Do you see it? Chapter 64, verse number 11. No, this isn't this is in brackets. This is commentary. I don't care for the bracket. I read in Arabic. It says the true faith, certainty, Allah's befallen name was already written for him. This is in bracket. We don't believe this. Take take the bracket away. Who care? No calamity befalls but with the leave of Allah. What does that mean? Allah have to Allah he have to put his signature on it to be or to happen nothing happened by itself no thing happened to you bad or good except by Allah decision that is the predestiny 
Allah have to approve it before it happened to you. No, it's saying that if something bad is going to happen, then Allah gives it permission to happen. He does not make it happen. Allah give it permission. He don't make it happen. Yeah, no, because Allah gives permission for everything, even the, right. the leaves. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. The tree. On the I'm going to do this. Okay. If somebody believe in Allah, mm -hmm. do he believe in Allah because Allah will or against Allah will? Huh? If somebody believe in Allah. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Is that because of his will or it's against his will? Uh, no, it's not against his will. So do you believe in Allah because it was the will of Allah? Like now, I don't believe in Allah. Is that my will or the will of Allah? That's your will. Uh, okay. The Quran says the opposite. Chapter 6, verse 107. Had Allah willed, they would not have taken other beside him to worship. Do you see it? Other verse saying the opposite, no, just to show you, just to show no, you how, it's, just to show you how it's stupid the Quran. He's talking about free will. It's saying Allah lets people worship other gods. He no, 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 them. no. Had Allah will. No, had Allah will. So the will of Allah is decide where you go, if you believe or not. But just to show you in contradiction, in the Quran it says that the disbeliever, they say, Allah, he made us uh, not to believe. It was the will of Allah. Allah in the Quran says, well, this is their claim. This is not true. This is not true. But look what happened. In chapter 6, verse number 137, the Mushrikeen, they killed their children. Had Allah willed, they will not do it. So it was their will or it was the will of Allah? Their will. No. No. Because if this is their will, the verse has no meaning. Because had Allah will, they will not do it. That means Allah will, they will kill their children. Let me show you more. Maybe you can understand better. <sighs> Chapter 6, verse 148. The polytheists, they say, Allah, if Allah had willed, we would not have taken partner with him. So they believe that it's the will of Allah. Allah said to them, you are a liar. Do you see it? That will mm -hmm. support your statement that there is a freedom of belief in Islam. No. Because if we go to the other verse, it says the opposite. Uh, the reason those people, they are taken, because it was Allah will. So Allah, he said to them, you are lying when you say, it was my will to you to have other partners. But the chapter 6, verse 107 says, Had Allah will, they will not take another partner. To make it simple, which one of them is the one is functioning? It is them lying, saying it is the will of Allah made us have other gods. In chapter 39, verse number 4, or the verse saying, Had Allah will, they will not take. <laughs> it can't be both. So it was Allah will. Um, this could this could be Allah saying that He's not going to force anyone to worship Him. No, no, no. Uh, no, no. In fact, uh, you see, uh, the idea of forcing, not forcing, this is not exists in Islam because uh, there's nobody have a choice to believe or not. Uh, like if somebody been deceived, let us go to deceive. When somebody worship other than Allah, he is being deceived, correct? If Allah, if, if he what? If somebody believe, let us say he believe, uh, you know, uh, Mickey Mouse. He believe in Mickey Mouse, he worship Mickey Mouse. Okay. Who is the one who deceive him, Shaitan or Allah? 
Shaitan. No. The Quran says Allah. And the one who Allah misguide, deceive, nobody can guide. Here we go. This is your God. Speaking. It does not say deceive. This is misguide. It doesn't no, say no, deceive. no. It says deceive. You deal. You deal. It is deceive. Right. Allah, he deceive who he will and he guide who he will. It's in front of you. So who is the one who deceived? There's two options now. Both of them, they are done by Allah. Do you see it? Both are done by Allah. Deceiving and guidance. Both are done. So where is the free will? The one who is misguided is misguided and deceived by Allah. And this is what the word in Arabic means. You will deceive. And the one who is guided is guided by Allah. There's no other choice. Hmm? Same time in chapter 16, verse number 37 says, Allah will not guide the one he deceive. Do you see it? So verily Allah guide not those who he make them deceive. It's not shaitan make them deceived. Do you see it? Did he leave? Oh, he's gone. Okay, who was here uh, first? Muhammad? Who was here first, guys? Uh, this guy, he left, I don't know. Yes, I, I, I. I'm already there. You are, you are, uh, you were here before them? Yeah, I was here, I'm waiting. You are ready for what? Yeah, I'm waiting for your letting me to talk okay you, you are a muslim yeah i'm muslim but i spoke to you five hours ago you were a muslim you're still a muslim until now yeah that's true that's true i mean come on you what happened to you man no what? you disconnected why are you why are you still why a muslim you? tell me why are you still a muslim because i have reasons give me give me that number one reason no, let, let's yeah, take it away. Right now, I will talk on the debate you were talking about before one hour. No, no, tell I'm me, going to tell go me through. number one reason. Go ahead. No, 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 no. no. Listen, the words, the verses you have yeah, here shown to the audiences, I want to talk about those. Which one? Which one? Yeah, I will, I will let you know. Just to be, give me some time so that I will tell you. You, First, are, you are not ready yet? Right now, to I... Uh, Fata, you are saying God is saying that me, me. So can God say me? Is there another God? You are saying right now. Is it true? Yeah, this is what the verse is saying. May Allah forgive your sin. Okay, so you are saying right. So you agree. It says may Allah forgive your sin. Okay. The word today was that it is saying may. May means that so Allah is also uh, asking for someone else, there is someone, so he says me. Because if Allah is going to do, there is no me. Is it right? I don't understand what he's saying. Guys, can you, can, can you speak slower? Can you speak slower? Here is the verse. It is on the screen. You have shared it. al -Fata, very nice. It says, may Allah, but, that may Allah forgive your sin. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Allah, yeah, yeah. But, Allah making supplication see, to who? You did it. You done it for many yeah, minutes. You were talking on this. So now I am going to talk. Give me two minutes. Okay, go. Cool. But uh, Are you ready? try to make it more clear. Like, you know, your voice is not clear for me. So don't speak, clear, but don't, not, don't speak fast. Don't speak I, fast. Okay, go ahead. I do not want to go very long. Few words just I want to say. All right. There is no Arabic word which says me. So you are translating it wrong, then the meaning will also be wrong. The meaning what? The meaning what? Listen, like Allah. So that I I don't understand what so he's saying because if I want to answer you, I need to understand what he's saying. No, no. First, you you were saying me, so your translation is wrong. I'm this not. I'm a, saying this. This is, this is not my translation. So whoever it is made, but there is no me. Okay, give, I'm me, saying the, give me the translation you accept. So I am telling you the meaning. No. So who that are means you? who are you? Who are you? 
I am the person who is talking with you. No, you are not a person. You are a half person. What do you say? I am. I am also Arabic Give me, speaking. Oh, okay, hold on. Give me the translation you accept, so we can read it. Yeah, yeah. Lakallah. Liya, so liya what? Do you don't know Arabic, you idiot. This is not Arabic. Listen, Lakallah. So speak to me. In, speak so to me. In, speak to me in Arabic. Speak to me in Arabic. Why do I don't speak? Uh, you, you are an Indian boy. You are not really Arabic. Let me show people what you are reading. You are no, reading no, this. No. You are reading. You Man. are reading this. You are reading this. It is just a, a translation to sound like an Arab. This is what you are doing. لِيَغْفِرَ لَكَ اللَّهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ تَدَبَّرَ يَا بَلَّ بَلْدُودَ This is what you are reading. I am the jahil. You are not ready. I am giving. <laughs> so, so listen. Okay. Uh, why the Muslims in their <laughs> translation saying, may Allah forgive you? We can change the translation. What translation you like? What translation you like? You ask him, who has done it? I don't have any problems. I am not, but I'm I'm saying not making a claim. This is your Muslim. I just change the translation, guys. Here we go. Look, Second look, translation. If you give me... That God may forgive me. thee. The former later sin. This is your translation. Look, who who is the one who made this translation? Look, Muhammad Arbari. Let us go to the different one. Ahmad Raza Khan. I mean, we can show you translation after after translation. So that Allah may forgive you. All of them they are saying me. <laughs> Talking all the listeners that this just, meaning. Just take a hike. All of your translations saying me. I'm not even translating. This is your stupid translator. Are they, are, they are my translation now. I say to you, show me the translation you accept. You don't want to show me. This is your translation. What I will do? All the Muslim translation says, May Allah forgive you, Muhammad. May Allah forgive you. So if the word me is not there, then a new Muslim you add it there, that means you are a bunch of liars. Uh, Mr. Muhammad, how are you doing? We have two Muhammad, the one in Arabic. Go. Where, 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 where? What? Do you, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Yeah. Why? First of all, why, why you, why you bring a, a Shia in here, bro? The Shia is the worst example of Muslim possible that you can debate. Why? Why the Shia is the worst? Why? Tell me why. Because first, 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 in the Quran, that is specific say that you cannot, you cannot curse Sahaba, and there let the let. In the, let the, in the Quran, let Aisha cursed. In the Quran, it says you cannot curse the Sahaba. Where it says that? No, no, that you cannot curse Sahaba. Yeah, show me where it says that. Yeah. Where, where it says in that? In the Quran. Where? Show me where. Bro. Do I need to pick the words for you? And put yeah, it in the chat because you made a claim you have to show it to us otherwise you are just yeah, a kid like wait, 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 I cannot lie. you see you, you, see, see, you, you, you wait, say wait. the Shia are bad it turned to be you are a Sunni bad because Muslim Sunni they lie a lot you say this in the Quran says don't curse the Sahaba show me go ahead isn't it you she uh, Muslim wait, okay, hold on. listen listen isn't it you Muslim Sunni believe that your prophet and the Sahaba they have a fight using shoes what? Where did, you get, where did you get that from? What which, which, which from, one? From the books which of the, from the from? from the book of the Sunnis. Your prophet and his which companion book, bro? Abdul. Which book with hadith? Your prophet and his uh, companion they start throwing shoes at each other. Yes or no? Bro. Don't tell me, bro. You, you are a liar. You are a liar. You Okay, you, pick, in a, in a you need to pick me the spot in front too, of everybody. You, 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 you claiming you something that outrageous. You need to have a source first. You, with surah. I have with, source with words, or, with ayah. Should I have source or sauce? I don't in, understand. Yeah, what? show me the sauce. Sauce, give me the sauce. The sauce? What sauce? The hot sauce? So yeah, you, you are saying to me that the Shia are bad, but your books, you Sunni says, that the Sahaba, the companion of Muhammad, including Muhammad, they have. By the way, why? By the way, what do you mean, my book and their book? The we Shia have only book, one book. The, the we Shia, have Quran. The, the Shia book says that. The Shia book Quran says is that. only one book. The Shia book says that that the Sahaba they fight using shoes against each other. So Shia. This book is. Uh, you mean hadith? 
not Quran. No Shia, Shia, Shia. They say that the Shia, they say that the Sahaba, the companion, they Six Shia they, hadith. Huh? You mean Shia hadith? You don't like Shia hadith? You mean what? Are you, what? What book? You, what book are you talking about? Uh, Shia, the the book of Shia. You the, mean the chapter of watermelon in the book of the Shia? It says that the Shia, oh, the Shia yeah, said that the Sunni, the, 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 Sun, the Sunni, they were throwing shoes at each other, and this is in the book of you the mean, watermelon. Read, read, read it for me. Read it for me. Read it for me. Here we go. Read it. Ah. Uh, Right now, I don't do not care whatever the Shia book saying, and we talk about only book the only book that the Quran, the Abdul, Quran. Okay, Abdul, this is Al Bukhari. Abdul, I was joking with you. It's Al Bukhari. The Sahaba using Al -Bukhari. shoes. Al Bukhari. Al Bukhari saying the Muslim Sahaba and the Prophet they were throwing shoes at each other. Read it. Ah, bro, you need to go to the Islamic QA, bro, not this brother, fucking brother, Shia. This is, your, this is the Sunni books. You said to me that the Sahaba cannot be cursed, cannot be insulted, but you Muslims, the Prophet himself and the Sahaba are throwing shoes at each other, the hadith in front of you. Let me, let me show you. Hold bro, on. you need to read Quran, not the fucking... What in the Quran? In the mm. oh. wait, wait, wait! I gonna give you the worst. What? Wait! I gonna give you the worst in Quran. I gonna tie it in the chat. What verse? Ah, wait! Are, what are you talking about? What verse? I and I gonna give you the worst in Quran. They say that you cannot curse Sahaba. You are from Somalia, right? Why you think I found Somalia? What do, why, why is that coming from? Because you are Somalian, uh, war, you are using Somalian. What do you words. mean? You speak Somalian, they speak from their nose. Can you see? Ah. What, where you are speaking from? Hello? Okay. I'm so gonna tie it, it on it, the shed. Is it true? I'm gonna put the wood. Is it true? I'm gonna put this no, listen, word listen. on the Listen, is it true that the Prophet and his companions. Surah Al Baqarah ayah itiak wa karuku rubuna kuf banla anna humun lahu bi kufrihim wa kari lama yuminun. That Arabic, I have no idea what you're saying. What are you saying? And they say our heart, our rap, but in fact Allah has cut them for their disbelief, so written is that their belief. And, and then kind of I put that I put it on the chat. Okay, what what uh, what what verse you are reading? I don't understand the word from you are saying. Chapter one. And Bakara I Bakara Okay, chapter two. Okay. Verse uh, yeah, 88, 89. Okay, eighty eight, eighty nine. Let us see, because I don't understand what you are saying. Here we go. Eighty eight, eighty nine. Go ahead. Tell us what is this verse saying. What does have to do? What does have to do? You, you said to me, you said to me, you cannot curse the Sahaba. Because you keep the fact from Hadith, you need to keep the fact from the Quran first. Then after that Hadith. <laughs> so listen, you said to me that this verse saying you cannot curse the companion of Muhammad. Where it says that? Read it for me. Here we go. It's in front of you. You asked me to read this one. What this would have to do with our topic? What this? Read it. Read it. Read it with me. I read it. Where, where it says? Where it says? Don't curse the uh, the companion of Muhammad. Where it says that? Lead, 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 lead. <laughs> Lord have mercy. What? Where is where it says don't curse the companion? Where it says that? Okay, hold on. Is is Aisha considered from the companion of Muhammad? Yes. All right. Did Muhammad say that from the house of Aisha the horn of Shaitan will come out? Again. 
the horn of shaitan will come from the house of Aisha, yes or no? Bro, what did, what did, what did you, what, what is it coming from? It's in front of you. I'm showing you the reference, look. The horn of shaitan will come from the house of Aisha. It's in front of you. Ah. And those all are Sahih Hadith. Ay and Abani. And they are Sunni Hadith. You see? You see, this is this is your books. By the way, you need to read Tafsir first. Tafsir. What Tafsir? Even this one need Tafsir? <laughs> yes. All right, my friend. You didn't need to read Tafsir. You need to read this our contact, bro, because you people just okay, get everything okay. our contact, and okay. then you okay. interpret listen, whatever listen, you listen. want. Is is the campaign of Muhammad or Kufar? La, no. Okay, so why the Quran accuse Aisha that she is a kafir? Bro, <sighs> what? Which was you give me you you did accuse me that the Quran said that Aisha is kufar? Which was they, they said? Yes, the, which was, the, the which Quran. Was. The Quran says that. Here we go. The Quran okay. says. Show that me, show me the words. The two, show wives, me the words. The two show wives of words. Muhammad they became the hearts of kufar. Chapter sixty-six, verse number four. What happened? You have heart attack? I'm reading. You are reading? You are, you are better than Prophet Muhammad. He can read. This guy, he can read. That's amazing. Abdul, who can read? That's mission impossible. What did it say that Aisha is a kafir? He's not it, saying this. It says that their heart is in decline to Allah, and Allah is saying to them, repent. It declined, mean that Imma, repent. It means Imam is declining. It's not mean she is a kafir. It means no, she no. is uh, in the very okay. bad place. Is he asking them to repent? Iman. Okay, is he's asking them to repent? Yes, repenting is something that all Muslims do every day. What do you mean, bro? No, no, this is a verse made for them specifically. They are so bad to the point Allah will send an army. Look at the army. Ah, okay. Can you count for me? The army is going to come to fight Aisha and Hassan. Bro, the, and which one did say that it's, Aisha is a kafir? A'udhu billahi min al-shaytan so al-rajeem. So, which was? So, Can you give me the specific word? Okay, listen, that listen. say that okay, Aisha listen, is kafir. Listen, listen, listen. So listen, that, listen. It says here. It means, but if you help one another against him, against whom Muhammad, then verily Allah will be his protector and Jibreel and the righteous Muslims and furthermore all the angels all of this to fight two women so if they are not kuffar and they are not bad why we need Allah and Zibreel and furthermore all the righteous Muslims and furthermore all the angels to fight five foot women they must be very bad. I mean, Allah did not say that to fight the Christians. He did not say, I will send you Allah and Zabri and righteous what did this Muslims. Say that fight? Do you see how many they are involved in this fight between Muhammad and those two women? Everybody who's left. But, did, but did it say that? But did it say that Aisha is kafir? No, it did not so, say that. It so just Allah, said that. So Allah. If, Allah if is Allah, a, then really Allah uh, is and his mora. So if Allah is a threatening Aisha to go at war with her and bring all this army, all the angels, are they kuffar or they are good? <clears throat> what is that sound? You are making like a curse. <sighs> Say it again. Do it again. What is that? You don't, are, you, are you speaking English? Are you don't understand me. Yeah? Can you read it all over again? Like, since the beginning. Then the end. I, I know. Again. No, we again. are we, we Arab. We don't read from the beginning. We read from the end. Let us say, helper his or no, 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 no. We read it. Like, it's not lead up. And believers you need among to righteousness. Shut up. Not lead up. And that uh, Jibril yeah. and Jibril and the protector, master or lord or his maula. And then is Allah verily then because it doesn't make difference if you make it from the beginning or the end. This stupid Quran. So the Quran is saying that Aisha and Hafsa. If they don't repent, Allah will send an army and he will lead the army. He will come with them. And Zibril, Zibril himself, man, with the 600 wings. And furthermore, all the righteous, Suhamah bin Laden, all the righteous. And then furthermore, yeah, yeah. all the angels. Who's left? Nobody left. 
Nobody left in earth, nobody left in heaven. All they are coming to fight Aisha. So how bad Aisha and Hafsa was? Go ahead. Are, are, you, are, are you people illiterate or something? i asking you many times right now that is in the world, in the, it, in the world, it's at least in the world that Allah specifically say that Aisha is a kafir. No, it's not said. Oh, not? Just say okay to repent. Okay, okay. So she need to on. repent. When it says your heart indeed so inclined, what does that mean? Go ahead. Their heart Inclined indeed is her? so inclined. What does that mean? It means her iman, her heart is declining. No, it says they became kuffar. He didn't say that, bro. What is this? Okay. What do you mean? Can we can uh, can, can we go and? Uh, bro, they just just leave the top there, bro. You 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 people just want to think it by yourself, bro. You 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 like tafsir? Yeah, tafsir. Little tafsir. Are you sure? So you so you so you can understand more. Yeah, that's little uh, tafsir. Okay, okay. So it is. And by the way, Sunni tafsir, not a fucking Shia. It is. Uh, Sunni tafsir. Yeah. Okay. By the Sunni scholar. Yeah. All right. Here we go. This is Sunni tafsir. This is the book of the Shia. Uh, here we go. This is Shia book because you asked me for Sunni tafsir, so I have to give you Shia because uh, you know Sunni like Shia and Shia I love Sunni, so I have to read with me. Do you see what the Shia tafsir says? That their heart is getting close to be kuffar. Do you see it? Read it. Read it. Can you read? It is Shia. Huh? Where do you get this from, Shia? Oh, so you agree that the Shia they say that, huh? Can you can you just go to the is ah uh, bro? Huh? Just go to Islamic Q and A, bro, please. I don't understand. Any, anybody something understand? from a Sarafi. Go to the Sarafi website or any 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 Sunni website. Not this whatever website. Are, are you first from. of all? First of all, are you Sunni? Are you Sunni? I would like to call myself a Muslim. I like to call already call myself a Muslim. Are you Sunni? I like to call myself Muslim. A second ago you said to me book Sunni books. So if you are not a Muslim Sunni, why are you asking <laughs> me for Sunni? First, 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 first. First. I be, I need to call myself Sunni because I need to let you know that I not a Shia. Because there is the the Christian already know that there is a Shia and Sunni. No, we don't know that. This is new. This is new. We don't know. We never heard this before. What are you talking about? What do you mean? What, you uh, you what, don't act like that. You literally. What, what Shia and Sunni more? I don't know. What does that mean? Sunni is the people that follow the way of Sunnah of Prophet. Uh, so Sh yeah. Shia, do, do Shia and Sunni worship the same God? He, Sunni worship only God, only one God. Like the Allah Muhammad the Rasulullah and worship, he they will only worship one God uh -huh. and know that Muhammad is his uh, Sarab and uh, his messenger. Uh, okay, so uh, yes. uh, when when Allah some Shia, some Shia, I believe that some Shia is is believe the same, is but that, they have is a that, a is that, that, is that Naik Shia. Is the Prophet Zakir Naik Shia or Sunni? Listen, Prophet, the Rasulullah didn't say that we should separate into sect. But you see, because I, I some of Shia, some understand. of the sect in Shia. Okay, hold on. Your Prophet says my nation will be 73 sect. Yes, there will be, there will be. It's in, inevitable. Right. Because uh, in the last day, in the last day, uh -huh. before the anti in the Ankiyama, they're gonna be as seventy-three sect, and the only one sect will be the true. The uh, two will uh, follow. Are they the majority or the minority? They will be the true one. What do you mean? The the sect will be saved with the seventy-three sect, right? So one of them will be the saved sect. Which one is it? The big sect or the smallest? I don't know. How we will know now? How we will find out? 
how you can save yourself from the know. fire. How you know then? Because there are 73 sects. How we know which one of them? Before, before all the, what in the Quran and what in the Shahid Hadith? Well, all, yes, of, all of them, they read the same book. All of them, they read the Hadith. All of them, they claim to be right. Yeah. If you follow so, the Quran, so, so wanna, you say it. So, so what is the problem wanna, here? If I want to convert to Islam now, which which is the true sect will give me a lot of women for sex? Which one? How could, how could I know, bro? Everyone think everyone think that is the true sect. So how are you asking? You follow people? what is the Quran? So why, so, you follow so, in the Quran. So you, now, but so we now, follow one thing. One thing okay. that the same that every uh, every Mahab. So now, the same. What, what, that, you, what you are saying, we follow that, the other word that, that Muslims are gambling. Rule in Quran. They, they don't know who is going to be saved. There are seventy-three sect, and based on your luck, maybe this one, maybe that one. There's no proof which one is the, of them will go to heaven. Nobody knows. Islam is. You asking this question the same, the same, the same, the same. No, I no, only no, say no, that no, only no, Allah, no, no, only no, no, Allah. No, 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 no. no. We, how can I know? I don't, no, I, I don't even know that I can live to Antiyamah. Listen, listen, listen. Your prophet said that the Christians, the Jews, are seventy-one sect. The Christians are seventy-two. The Muslims are seventy-three. So, being a Jew is the best choice based on your prophet because you have better choice or better uh, like better luck. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, read it. It says it clearly, guys. Does it say? Does it say the Jews are split into seventy-one sect, the Christians seventy-two sect, the Muslims seventy-three? So your yeah. option of being saved in Islam is one to seventy-three. Your option to be saved in Christianity is one to seventy-two. Your option to be saved in it's, Judaism it's, it's, it's is one to seventy. Based listen, on this, listen, 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 listen. Did did did, did these hadiths? Say that this Jew and in Jew, this Yahud and in Jew, you go to heaven. Yes, yes. You go says, to paradise. It says the Jews. It says the Jews. It says the Christians. It says yes, the Muslims. Yes, it says Yahud. So yeah, yeah. It says Yahud, Yahud, yeah, Yahud, yeah, Yahud. It says Yahud, yeah. It says there. Here we go. Yes, okay. because then this Yahud. Okay, so yeah. the, the Jews. Then the, the, yeah. They become the seventy. One, hold on. The, 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 Jew, the, the Jews become seventy-one sect. The Muslims are seventy-three. So you Muslims are screwed. How? 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 Because the Jews are better than you. Look, they are seventy-one sect. One of them will go to heaven. You Muslims are seventy-three sect. The one, one of them these Yahudi so is the, the, the true. Listen, Jack is Shalom. True believer, Jack, Shalom is uh, Jack Shalom from Jerusalem. He is more lucky than you because he will go to heaven. He has better opportunity. To go to heaven to save his ass, but you Muslims are screwed up. Seventy-three sect. The Jews are seventy-one sect. How you? How you? Seventy sect. Actually, you know how you can answer that. How you can refute Prophet Muhammad? Are you going to say now Prophet Muhammad is Shia? Shame on you, guys. This guy is saying Prophet Muhammad is Shia. Why did, why did I say that? I didn't say anything well, about by, that. By rejecting what he's saying, obviously you're a Shia. He said that. I reject that. I didn't say any you're, reject you're, that. I mean, I mean, you interpret it wrong. You, you, you don't understand what this okay, hadith okay, means. Okay, listen, Muhammad. According to what you said to me, the most screwed up people are the Muslim Sunni. You Muslim Sunni are screwed up. Seventy-three sect, man. The Jews are seventy-one. So the Jews are not the most confused. It is the Muslims are the most confused. It's in front of you. Refute that. Go ahead. But they were, bro. This is no pride, bro. You just, I, you don't even listen to me what I'm saying, and you just. Okay, hold on, hold on. Slowly, cut me slowly, up every slowly. time. I know you are a Muslim, so you are slow. Let us do it slowly. Seventy-one sect versus seventy-three sect. Who is more confused? I don't care what is the number say, bro. Guys, he just said he don't care what Prophet Muhammad number said. He I, just, didn't, I didn't say he that, just said that. that. I didn't Everybody say that. Oh, that. You mean Brother, I don't you I insulted say, the prophet of Allah? May I Allah didn't insult the prophet. May Allah prophet. close I the said that I don't, May Allah close the door of the van over about, your penis. I don't care about how many number of the you, sect we you have, just, bro. No, you just said I don't care. So if you don't care, that means you don't care what the prophet saying. You are making fun of the prophet. May Allah curse curse you. I mean that penis. I don't I. Listen, uh, the prophet. Look, look, look. Said, please so, have the please so, have the Christian agree with us. Muhammad, Let us pick out Muhammad, every every for time. For the we just sake of the out. sin of Allah, show respect, you idiot. I'm so upset from you. You are insulting Prophet look, Muhammad look, 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 in my presence. Look, look, look. I didn't insult you. Are, so, okay. you are the one who. The you are the one who pick out whatever you want. 
when I speak something, you interpret it wrong. I'm not interpreting anything. Your prophet say the Jews are the less screwed. You Muslims are the biggest screwed uh, uh, religion. It's in front of you. How, 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 you mean we have the more number sect? And then it means we screw up. Okay. How? Yes, yes, because we if, don't care if, because of the Jews, if the Jews have 71 sect and the Muslims have 73 sect, who is the one is screwed more? Who is the one more confused? The Muslims. It's in front of you. No, no. What do you no. mean no? Okay. We have 71 religion. One of them is true. No. That is the Jewish no, religion. No, 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 no. La, and la, then we la, have la, 73. La, 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 la. What the la la? Don't uh, are we going to open the camera and dance for us? Don't do that. Listen, 73 is the Muslims. 71 is the Jews. So who is the most confused one? The Muslims. It's in the front of you. Face it. Face it. It's your destiny. You cannot do that. <sighs> what what is that sound you make? What's wrong with you? So what? Are you okay? So what? So what? So what? So we, have so more, we have more the so, so the more the so the Quran, oh, hold on. We'll have if, more the, if the Quran if the book if the Quran is the book of guidance we we'll have more mislead sect more than the Yahud and the in Jew what so so what it is, so what okay, the problem here? okay so guys he have more people misled in Islam than the more than the yeah, Jews and the Christian that means the Quran because the, because 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 Muslim Muslim got the worst got the worst treatment in the in this era, this is the worst era that we can live in right okay, now. No, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Muhammad, he said, listen, what era, what era, what era? This is Muhammad speaking at that time, my friend. Listen, Muhammad, it's not era. So he's saying the Jews spit now, now. That, he's not saying it. So the Jews is yes, because 71. The, so listen, don't stop, the stop complaining, please, victim. I did not even touch you. So listen, <laughs> listen, Allah listen, listen, listen. Akbar. So what you are saying to me now, that the Quran did not guide you. The Quran confused you. The Quran screwed you. So the book of the Jews and the book of the Christians have lay way better because there's better options. They can save more. But in Islam, 73, man. Uh, so what the Quran did, the Muslim, they keep saying to us, the Quran is amazing. Listen, the, listen, the hadith, listen, listen, listen. The hadith. Because, because, hadith. because, so, because yes, I, just, I know the hadith. I see it, bro. Listen, be, the reason why we have more misleading said than more the Yahud and the NGO because because why we are, got the worst taking, we taking, got the worst men that what? every religion can have. Okay, okay, but uh, listen. Because we are the we are the. But there is the the Quran is the book of guidance, and the Muslim they claim that the Torah is corrupt, the Injil is corrupt. We can't be, hold, bro, on. We, hold on. We have the guidance, but the person. Let me finish, Muhammad. Come on, let me finish. You are you are afraid yeah, of me. You are afraid shaitan. of me because I'm tall and you're short. So come on, listen. So if the Quran, is you are the, the one who keep talking. You, you know, you listen to me, bro. I cannot just let me speak for a bit, bro. I'm letting you speak. I'm letting you speak, but you don't let me speak too. I mean, come on. First of all, I can't let you speak because you're so. You speak, or you already speak like five minutes, bro. I only speak like a second, and then you cut me off every time. Okay, I will give you the mic, but you promise me to to answer me. I will repeat my question. I will not give. I will give you guys. Yes. I will give a brother Muhammad ten hours to give me the answer. Ten hours. If you stop before ten hours, I will be so upset. Do you promise me ten hours? Hello? Do you promise me to speak for 10 hours explaining this disaster? Say yes, be a man. See, you're a coward, you refuse now. Uh -huh. Now you are biting your tail. A second ago, let me talk, let me talk. Now you don't want to talk no more. I want to hear. I don't, what do you mean I don't want to talk no more? I do. I keep talking, and you just keep me cut, cut me off, cut me off, cut me off. I will this not cut you for ten hours. Do you, like you, do, do you promise me? Do you promise me? Baby, Do you promise me? Okay, listen, like listen. Do you promise me to explain this for the coming ten hours? I don't. I'm not going to cut you. I will going to take a nap. Okay. So now. Yeah. Give me the. Give me your. Give me oh, your questions. All right. So now, if the Muslims are the most confused, that means the Quran did not a good do a good job. Because here we go, you are the most confused, and now you claim that it's the error. That means the Quran still did not help you in any era. The Quran is a book of listen. error. Now the mic is yours. I promise you ten hours. I'm listening. Go ahead. If you stop before ten listen, hours, listen. If you stop the before listen, ten hours, I will send the mujahid. If you stop before the ten, if you stop, me up If you stop before ten hours, I will send the mujahideen to find you. Go ahead. Listen. 
the reasons why Muslim have at the end time will have more misled sect than other religions because first Muslim mean get the more test than these people. We get the worst test. We get both of these religion will be our enemy. You understand that the Yahudi, the Injil, at the end time will be our enemy. We got two front wall right here. And second, Allah keep the best test, the worst, the the hardest test to his follower. So the Muslim, the follower of Allah, and his guidance you get the worst of the worst test. But because of this, because of this, we will get the highest of paradise. And we will be safe. Yeah. 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 What happened? You stop? That's it? Yeah, I already done. I already done. You I already happened. Explain it. You, you promised me ten hours. What do you mean I speak 10 hours? Are you stupid? No, you promised me 10 hours to explain because this is needed 20 hours. Look at this, Abdul. Listen, what are you talking about? Allah, he sent Quran. Quran is a book of guidance. He gave you a hadith to guide you more. Yeah. And then it turned to be that you Muslims are the most screwed because you are 73 sect and the Jews are 71, which means the book of the Jews is more clear, <laughs> more nice, Bro. more book of guidance. So I gave you 10 hours to explain what you said to me. We eat cheese kebab and we eat hummus and then we pray to Allah and we are screwed. At the end of the day, we are 73 I sect. already said that. I already said that because we are the... His true, we are the true follower. What I don't understand. What guidance. I don't understand. What we are the we are the follower, the true follower of the guidance. You are the true follower. And what follower mean? He's a, guys. He's a true follower. Follower of who? The Hitler. The Hitler. What the follower? Still, who cares? 73 sect, and you told me nobody knows which one. You just told me nobody because knows. we got the. I said, I only said that. I when said to you, time, I said to you, which sect is the, the one? Time, which one is the one will go to paradise? You said, I don't know. I don't know, yes, because I don't know who know, man. It's not the end time exactly. right now, but it's so really you're screwed. You're it's screwed. Really near, bro. It's like playing cards. This is fucking stupid, bro. You, you, I already explained it to you, but you still cut me off and you don't even listen what I explained. I, I give you 10 hours to explain it and you stop. Guys, did, did, did I cut him off? I gave him 10 hours, he stopped. You did not give me the answer. I, so, because so, I already explained it's that, it's, it's that easy, bro. The, I, 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 it it takes a really short time to explain it, but you don't even listen to, to, to it, bro. You know, I, I, I once joined the army. And then I like I, I finished my. I think I'm going to join the army again before because of you. I mean, you are driving me crazy, man. You remind me of the drill sergeant. He's he's screaming in my face. I have no idea what he's saying. I don't. I told him no English. No I don't English. care, bro. So I listen, don't listen. care. You, I so don't listen, care. What, listen, what, what, what are you talking about? Who is the, the story? So you you confirm that nobody knows who is the sect will go to heaven in Islam out of seventy three. So who is the stupid who want to convert to a religion? They invite to seventy three sect. One of them only will go to heaven and nobody knows who they are. Just what you told us. I'm going to say that the one you go to the heaven is the one that follow whatever all the Quran follow said. Muhammad. All of them, they follow Muhammad. All of them, they say Shahada. All of them, they, yes, the they follow Muhammad. Yes, indeed. Which one? Okay, give me the name of it. But some of them, some of them maybe have a bida. <laughs> Which one of you them? Know bida, yeah? Okay, give me the name of the one will go to heaven. I don't know, bro. I can't know. There is still... You just said There's you don't know. There's still a lot of time, bro. You just said I don't because know. They... What the heck? Yes, I don't know. How can I know, bro? How okay. can I know? Did you know? I know. Okay, you I don't know. You know. Okay. I, as, as I heard that the one who believed that Allah is a horse is the one who will go to heaven. Bro, I need to do my... I, I, I don't have time anymore, bro. I need to do my salah. I did Isha now. You do what? Salah? Why do you want to do salah? It's, it's based on the luck. Look, 73 sect. One of them will go to heaven. So you, you Because pray, I'm talking to you, you right now. It's going nowhere, bro. You, you just you keep pray. on this. Uh, you are, Hadith. You, you are running away. You are, you you? Are away. Your, your wife, she commanded you to watch this. I'm not going to waste my time 
I know what not with my I know what Muslim sheikhs you, you, you are the kind of a Muslim sheikh who wash dishes he claimed to be the man and your wife now she said to you you did not wash dishes and now you're making an excuse saying I have to go to pray but in fact you are going to okay no, open, be, open your camera and show I us, show I us you are I, I, I accuse you to be fabricating prayer just to run away from you me. can actually open think Allah camera. is my witness Listen, Allah open is your my camera witness. okay let us do this listen to me man uh -huh. I gonna do my salah and when I after this you waited for me we gonna do it again I wait for you here yes you went you went you are back you ass like that my friend oh boy I, I will come do back you I do me, my salah you, do you promise me you will come back yes I will come back I will swear by Allah go ahead swear by Allah Hmm? You don't swear by Allah is afraid. Anyway, what I can say, Abdul, uh, Razuz, go ahead. Go Razuz. Okay. Oh, no. It's my turn. This this guy from Senegal. Who be? Just get out of here, potato. Go, Muhammad. Hello, brother. Hello, hello. Uh, do you know me? Today I called you. Uh, yeah, yeah. You called me. You were thinking to leave Islam, right? No, please, brother. Don't. Uh, oh, you are. You are the one who. Are you the one who said the prophet he used to suck his fingers? <laughs> no? no, brother. I, know, I'm I was not I'm, saying I'm really this. confused no. because a lot like, of, all, uh, all of you, your name is Muhammad. You go to Egypt, you say Muhammad, everybody <laughs> say me. You say Ahmad, everybody with his hand up. I mean, like you are like in Italy, everybody is Tony. Like you say hello, Tony, everybody put his hand up. So anyway, well, many, please, how, how I will know. Like now, in the last 15 minutes, we have three, four Muhammad talking to me. So how I know? So tell me who you are. <laughs> Sorry for this. I'm not one of them. All right. What are you then? Introduce yourself. Go ahead. So can we come to the topic? What topic? You, you want to change topic? <laughs> no, brother. I don't want to change the topic. I know you know me better. You you remember me like I called you today. But I don't know why didn't you recognize. Uh, you know, I'm getting old. Sorry. You know, May God bless you. So my, can we come to the my, topic? Yeah, go ahead. What do you want to talk? Uh, can we talk uh, about Muta? I'm, I'm, I'm single. I'm sitting alone at home. And No, brother. And uh, you are talking just about Muta. I mean, why you are trying to tempt me, man? I mean, why you want to do that to me? Come on, haram, haram. I want to do Muta. And there's no women around. Okay. Hey, if there's any Muslim women, she offer herself to me. <laughs> Uh, by the way, guys, I need donation. Well, yeah. People, I need donation to do muta. You know, we, we need it halal. Your donation is halal, and muta is halal, and if business is good, okay. Any woman, she offer herself to the prophet. She is a Muslim. I'm a prophet, Arabian prophet. I speak Arabic. Look at me. Can you? What? Can you quote the hadith that uh, prophet forbid the muta until the day of judgment? You know, the Prophet, he did not forbid the Muta'ah. The Prophet allowed the Muta'ah and then forbid the Muta'ah and then allowed the Muta'ah and then he forbid the Muta'ah and then he uh, allowed the can you, do, can you show me the Hadith? Okay, hold on. The guy is a mentally ill. He, you know, he, he, for, uh, he forbid the Muta'ah and he allowed the Muta'ah and then he forbid the Muta'ah and then he allowed the Muta'ah. And then, you know, like, uh, yeah. All right, let us see. <laughs> all right, all right. I have many hadith actually, but let me see the one we can show in English. As I remember, you know a little bit of Arabic, right? Yeah, I know. All right. Let us see. Uh, 
All right. Let us see this one if we can find it in the English website. All right. Do you see here this hadith? <laughs> yeah. Read it for us. Go ahead. Uh, Ali reported that Jabir bin Abdullah came to perform Umrah and we came to his abode and the people asked him about different things and they made a mention of temporary marriage whereupon he said yes we had been benefiting ourselves by this temporary marriage during the lifetime of the prophet and during the time of Abu Bakr and Umar yeah so is the muta forbidden or it is lawful <clears throat> You know, uh, I'm not uh, like Muslim who are hypocrite, like they're standing in their topics, like it's uh, forbidden until the day of judgment. You no. know, uh, why no, did no, I no, mention uh, the... No, 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 focus on you, focus on me. It says, it says... Yeah, brother, I'm focusing. Yeah, it says that they did it during the time of Muhammad and during the time of Abu Bakr and Omar. That means... Yeah. After so, Muhammad died, still Muslims are practicing... The muta, correct? Yeah. Okay. So if the muta is forbidden by Muhammad as they claim in other hadith, then how in the world this hadith is very authentic, saying that the Muslim they practice it during Muhammad time, during the Caliphate Abu Bakr, during the Caliphate Omar. Yeah. And so, this is after uh, Muhammad. Can I say in order to be forbidden, it has to be forbidden by the Prophet, not by Omar. So what the Muslim they claim that the one who forbid the muta it was Omar, and this is when Muhammad yeah, himself, yeah, he yeah. have sex with the women. They claim that she is his daughter according to the Shia. So he have sex with the women. Later he found out that she is his daughter. So then he said we will not do muta no more. But Muhammad never forbid the muta because the hadith here confirm that during the lifetime, which means when Muhammad was alive. And then it, during the lifetime of Abu Bakr and Omar, we practice muta, which means there's no Quran came down and there's no forb uh, forbidden practice came to Muslims. Yeah, I just wanted to clarify this because, uh, you know, I studied some of the hadiths. Even uh, if I read the Arabic passage, they say like, فَفَعَلْنَا uh, huma مَعَ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ Exactly. Uh, yani it says, it says, if you uh, remember that hadith or not, but I told you the passage, uh, here the Muslim will find it. It's a Sahih hadith. It says that we had two mutas, two kinds of mutas. They are just, you know, chewing it. We had two kinds of mutas and we did it with the Prophet. So my Prophet is doing muta yeah. and I'm just silent about him. I can't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Papa Nahuma, they are two. Yeah. So, uh, so this, this, uh, I have a little bit some more topics. You know, they are short. I don't want to take your time. Yeah, no problem. But uh, so I don't know, you're still a Muslim now? Brother, uh, you know, after this discussion, I will clarify my faith. You will, you will do what? I will show my head like I'm Muslim or not. You know, I'm for now I'm as a Muslim. You know, I'm as a Muslim. I confirm. But you know, I uh, I just want to clarify some of the things that are not clarified to the Muslims in today's uh, world. Okay. Uh, so uh, the first guy whose name was Muhammad, he was saying like, don't give me the Shia books. They are not in the Shia books. Bukhari is a Sunni book. Muslim is a Sunni book. They, these verses are even, there is a verse of Mut'a in Quran, chapter 4, verse number 24. When you benefited from them, I gave them their glory. We don't have any uh, name for glory in the, uh, in our language. The Ujura is when someone work for you and you pay for them. So, uh, like uh, marriage in Islam, these all things, they are just jokes. You are paying them and they are, they are from you. This is the, the uh, value of women in Islam. So the first guy was just clarifying that, don't give me the hadiths. 
the Quran itself says, the Quran itself says that muta is allowed. Okay. And he came again, yeah. Maybe Muhammad, he can answer you. Muhammad is back. How are you doing, Muhammad? Uh, please let me with him. Let me with him. Okay, Muhammad. <laughs> Muhammad, can you talk to Muhammad? We have two Muhammad in the stage. Yeah. That would be your weapon, Muhammad. I cannot sit in my wife. I can. The wife is a bad weapon. The wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not law. They are afraid of their wives. Muslims are always afraid of their wives. They are very aggressive. Muslim women, they beat their husbands. I don't blame him. How do how do how, how do you guys say you are you are your wife, ladies? Oh, she is uh, doing massage to my feet right now. What about you? You just you just told us you cannot talk. Your wife is around. Come on, don't be shy. Muhammad, do you hear me? You're a prophet. He used to wash dishes and he used to work for Khadija. Is it true? He used to say, Muhammad, go. Muhammad, come back. Muhammad, he worked for... Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So anyway, Muhammad, uh, 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 Muhammad, uh, the, the one with the... Yeah, I need to change your name. I mean, both of you are Muhammad. Okay, Muhammad with the Arabic name. Answer Muhammad. I'm English, in English Muhammad. About, he is about, Arabic. About Muta. Go ahead. Yeah. About the yes, so, okay, come, Muhammad. Yeah, you asked me. What do you yes, say? So, so, who did he ask? You or me? Uh, Muhammad, he talked to I'm Muhammad about the muta. To you. Talking to Muhammad about the muta. We have two Muhammad in this stage. So, I will call Muhammad, who is uh, from India. Uh, Muhammad one and the other one who have Muhammad uh, name Muhammad. I am from Afghanistan. I am from Afghanistan. Let, let, Afghanistan. Okay. Let no. the brother from Afghanistan speak first. Let right. him speak first. All right. So, I, so okay, I brother, go to Afghanistan. Go ahead. Okay, brother Muhammad. When I'm telling you something, you do it. Go to chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Yes. Did you find it? Again, chapter four, four, chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Yes. Okay. Uh, so read it. In Arabic or uh, in in English? No, in Arabic. In Arabic. In Arabic. I and you are Muslim. We should know Arabic for the Quran. I'm word. I convert from Buddhist. You convert from Buddhist? Yes. I okay, don't even, I, I, I don't know what's going So you, you know you are brainwashed. As a Muslim myself for 24 years, they washed my brain, you know? How they washed? But you mean they, they washed your name, your, your brain? Which yeah, one washed your yeah, brain? Now, now let, me, let, let me tell you, okay? So read the verse 24, like you you said already that don't give me the reference of the Shia books, okay? You already yes. said. Yeah. So first of all, let's go to Quran, which is which belongs to Shia, Sunnis, all Muslim around the world. So here it says, What you enjoyed from them, gave them their glory. What does it mean? Can you translate it for us? What does istimta mean? Istimta. Again. Can you translate the word tamato, istimta, istimta, tamato, muta? They are all the same. Okay. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. Okay. Show me. Okay, so here the Muslim, the hypocrite Muslim trying to uh, say like this is the astemtatum means benefit. Like when you uh, give them one job and then you uh, pay them. So in Arabic, if you see, we don't, we don't use the word istimta for working. Like uh, you work for me. We use the word nafa for benefit. Here they are translating this word as a benefit. Noon. This means benefit. So here, 
your Quran, I'm no more Muslim, okay? As I already said that I'm a Muslim, but I don't want to stay as a Muslim, okay? From a stand talk, you what, do you, what did you enjoy? What, listen to me, listen to me. What do you, what do you mean by Quran? You say that Quran is have different versions. You say it Now way. let me talk, let me talk, okay? Let me talk. Do you, do you, agree, do you, do you think that Quran have one version or different versions? There's how many versions? Up to 34, okay? If you want to debate with me, uh, uh, the, here is not the place of debate because I, here is CP, he is debating with Muslim. If you give me your account, I will debate you, no problem. Speak. So can you let me uh, let me explain everything? Yes, you speak. Okay, brother. Kamas tamtatum, it means what you enjoyed, sexually enjoyed. When you enjoy a woman in Islam, and if you pay them their glory, there is nothing wrong about else. And I'm challenging you to show me a single verse in the Quran that forbade the muta. Okay? So here is uh, one proof. The other is, here you see on the screen, Sahih Muslim, that during the lifetime of the Prophet and during the time of Abu, Abu Bakr and Omar, so what does it mean? They were uh, pornicating with the women in the time of Abu Bakr, in the time of Omar. So all the time they uh, did it and they did not forbid. Who would forbid? That Omar. Omar is not a prophet who, per who will forbid such things. Okay? So there is nothing clear in the Quran to forbid the Muta. And the prophet once forbid and then allowed it. So it means the prophet himself did a sin. So when you uh, prohibit something, you should not commit. He prohibited and then committed that. What do you say about that? Do you agree? Do are you agree that uh, the Saba is not man? Do you agree, agree with that? What? What? Are you agree that Saba is not man? The Sahaba is not man? Yeah. Like, men are not like that. Men just have a single wife, they respect them, they don't look at other women, they don't enjoy other women, they don't pay to their uh, uh, to other women for sex. So that is the example of a man. My example is this. So if this is men, they are, they are not even in the category of women. Yeah? Do you, do you, do you think that it's fine to curse Aisha? I should uh, curse Aisha. Why I should curse? There is not a, nothing about cursing. I am telling yeah, the you fact. Literally say, you, you literally say she is the... Brother, 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 brother. Yeah, I am advising you, you for the second time. You say that you, I am brainwashed. Did, yeah, did you listen to you yourself? Did you, did you listen yeah. to yourself? Yeah, I listen to myself. I'm I'm you know, telling you everything you know with proof. You know you, that you know that Aisha is mother of Muminin. You know that. Yeah, she is the mother of the believer. She is explained as the mother of believer. So can I give you yes. one thing more? Yes, so again. you so, says like uh, yeah. When who, how old was Aisha when married the Prophet Muhammad? How old was she? Nine. Nine. Okay. So, how much how much time she spent with Prophet? So what is why is this eleven? No, brother. Please answer me. Don't don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Okay. How much time did she spend with the Prophet? So no. I mean, what is eleven? It is questions. You you want to ask? You ask. Yeah. You Okay, 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 okay. Let me educate you. Let me educate you. Let me educate you. Okay. When she was nine years old, so it means she was definitely a child. Okay. Okay. Bro, nine years is a child. It's not acceptable for us, no, brother. You say that. Ask you, you, any Muslim, listen, any, listen, uh, listen, listen, listen. You you gonna okay, say brother. that uh, okay, the, on, the, the 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 hadith the hadith is say that you say you say that the Aisha yeah. is nineteen years old. She is nineteen. No, are you going to say that Aisha is 19? She is 9 years old. Can you see me uh, quote the Hadith, 9 years old? Yeah, I see. Uh, you know, uh, at 9. 
Uh, first of all, uh, uh, here in America, we have police, and if they, they uh, find that I'm searching for a nine year old girl, something. Can I ask you they will something. Me. What is the age of consent? What? You want Brother. Me? I'm going to ask you. Listen. Yeah, listen. Yeah. Listen. Okay, here we go. This is, this is the hadith. It says she ah, was, you, she was, you six, she was six years old when the Prophet married her, and he had full intercourse with her when she was nine. And she was playing with the children like her. Please, uh, Sipi, can you let me talk with him? Sure, sure. You asked me to show him the hadith. What I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, Muhammad, Muhammad, read the hadith. The Messenger of Allah married me when I was six. I am challenging you to prove to me that a six years old girl can uh, differentiate bad and good things. Now, let her uh, give me the proof. Prove it. Yeah. You, did you read the hadith that she is the she yeah, 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 here, 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 here. She is here. the that very is intelligent. She is what? She is a very intelligent woman. She is different than an, any other single or that you find in this this era. Different. And different era, yeah? No, no. So she is different. She, me... she, is, she is more adult. Then okay. The okay. 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 So the you the need to understand the maturity, the the mental maturity, oh, oh. not the physical one. Yeah. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Listen to me. Are you listening to me or uh, fighting? I listen to you right now, but you don't let me speak. Okay, brother. You don't let me argue with you. <laughs> But uh, already you were talking with CP. CP gave you 10 hours for speaking. You just took uh, 30 seconds. Now you are because telling I me need that to you do are, uh, I need to do Salah. I need to do Salah. I met Ra with the Tafir. Brother, 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 brother. Before, you say, just... before you say, okay, care, tell me Kafir. I don't care. I don't care anymore about your filthy prophets, about your filthy beliefs, okay? A mutra prophet who did fornication for mean, the whole of his to, time and what do you wait, mean to listen to me, prophet? listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. What does mutra mean? To to have a sex with a woman and pay her. Enough? Enough? Are you agree? What do you mean, filthy prophet? What do you, you refer please, to? Please, Christian Prince, this man is just uh, passing time. He just don't want to educate himself. He is a Buddhist. No, you should remain no, no, as a Buddhist. Please, you no, don't please, even know Islam. This guy, he just did Salah. He is a Muslim and he is circumcised. Muhammad, are you circumcised or not? <laughs> Why is that little bit? Are you circumcised or <sighs> not? Why is this little bit? Muhammad, listen, you bring this. This guy, the other Muhammad, is like using you, Muhammad, the one you claim to be a Buddhist, uh, you became a Muslim. That you are a liar. Are yeah. you circumcised or not? Be honest with me. Why do you? Why, <laughs> why do? Why do I need to answer you? This is hemorrhage. Because a Muslim, he have to cut his penis. Did you cut your penis or not? He's not cutting penis. He's cutting the false skin. You dumbass. No, here we go. This is Abraham. He's, he's cutting the Abraham, false skin. You Ab dumbass. Abraham. No, you don't know how the so fucking Abraham fucking was a true Muslim. Muslim. Hold on. Abraham was a true Muslim. He cut his penis. Okay, can I answer with, him with the ads? Hold on. Hold on. You're saying no. He don't cut his. You know, this is Abraham, Prophet Abraham. Police be upon him. He's he cut, cut false skin, not the penis. What do you mean? I. He cut Are his penis. His penis was eight foot, and then he cut two foot of it. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. Look at this. Look, look at these people. Look at these people. This is madness. Look at this. <laughs> this is madness, bro. You know. Listen, please listen. Leave me, leave you, me with him. You, you, this you, is madness. You claim to be. You, I, you, you used to be. By the way, how, okay, let me how, ask you. Yeah, how how dare you? You claim to be Buddhist. Can you tell me what the word Buddha mean? The follower of Buddhist, Buddha. What the word Buddha mean? You said Buddhist. You don't even know. You are lying. Why you are lying? Shame yes. on you. In my language, it means Prabhupada. Prabhupada. It means that. No, you said that the you follower used to be Buddhist, but you do not even know what Buddhas mean. What Buddha mean? I cannot say to you. You just cut me fucking off, bro. Okay, so listen. So you. It's fucking. So prophet, is a fucking. So prophet, don't use bad language. Come on, haram, haram. You know. By the way, the prophet he says. Brother, you are a Muslim. By the penis of your father, don't say that. So prophet Abraham, he cut his penis with the ads. 
Do you cut your penis with the ads? Do you follow the Sunnah of Abraham or you Muslim you don't use ads? Ah, I'm not gonna answer anything. What why you, say why you will not answer? Because, are you afraid because you because did not? When I answer, okay, when, because sorry, when I answer so now, you, so now you are being again. exposed. You don't not cut your penis Brother, with the ads. Brother, leave me with him. Leave me with him. Leave me with him. No, he need to tell me why he did not cut his penis with the ads. I mean, he is being a hypocrite. <laughs> A true Why Muslim, I didn't... a true Muslim, ah. he will bring the hammer not of Thor. Cutting skin, you dumbass. A true Muslim, he will use the hammer of Thor and he will cut his... I look, this is what Abraham this, this he did to his... Uh, you know, this, this is, is what he did to his this penis. This is so fucking retarded. You understand? That? This what? is so retarded. Don't use bad language. You see, you are a good Muslim. Because, listen, listen, because this is true. This is true right now. You, you can't just bring... You can't even listen to me, bro. So, okay, now listen, I'm going to let you speak back to Muhammad, ah, but I want you to convince Muhammad you're not refuting him, you're just cursing. Refute the guy. Can you refute me? Well, he refuted you, but you, uh, you know, he left. Where he, where he left. Where Brother, uh, let's uh, continue our conversation. We are doing the uh, work. No, 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 there is we no way. Muhammad, Muhammad, you're on a way. Shame on you. You promised me to come back. He left. <laughs> Guys, did he promise me? He swear by Allah he will be back. He ran away. Just talking to other Muhammad, he ran away. If the other Muhammad make you run away, so what if I bring Aisha? What will happen to you? Be a man. So you lie. You said you used to be a Buddhist. But you don't even know what Buddha mean. You don't know anything yeah. about Buddhism. You're a liar. And obviously you have an accent like a Somalian. Buddhist, huh? In Somalia. She's kebab. Are you an Asian? Open your camera to see how you look like. Potato liar. Buddhist, huh? Potato. So, CP, can I, can I continue my conversation? Okay, go ahead. So we just talk about Muta that Prophet didn't prohibit it. Even there are hadiths that there is not a single verse about this revealed which forbids the Muta. So in Islam, when Shia is doing it, this is uh, Islam what says this is not a sin like Sunnis cursing Shia. Why, brother? Because Bukhari is a Sunni book, and you give them the reference, and they are doing this. And we know definitely that uh, Musa who are uh, stoning people for the fornication. If he was in the, if, now imagine if Muhammad is, was in the time of uh, Moses and Musa, uh, Moses saw him, you know what we, we, he will have do, done with him? He will have stoned him because you are uh, just doing fornication. So this guy did not even prove that what I was uh, saying. So let's skip it and come to the other uh, issue. Mm, the other issue is, uh, I'm asking you, CP, did uh, Muhammad waited for Safiya and Zainab to complete their period? Like they have three months, six months? Uh, uh, say again, what he did, what uh, Zainab? Like uh, when you divorce your wife, she ha she should not marry until a while. In Islam, there is a period like six yeah, months, yeah, three have, months they, for they, a slave they girl. Have, yeah. thing. They have all the women, all Muslim women, not only. Yeah. So but, you know. Yeah. So you know, Safiya was the wife of the Prophet, whom her husband was killed, and on the same night when her husband was killed, he had intercourse yeah, he with he her. Now with just her. imagine. Yeah. He always a spirit. He's a hypocrite. Yeah. He, he break. Now, he, he break his now own imagine. Rules. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't even follow the Quran. Now imagine. These people are spiritually dead. Wallahi, I can't even accept this thing like she, he he killed his hus her husband and is sleeping with her on the same night. Is this woman uh, good mentally or your prophet is not a prophet? So these are the things, you know, it shocks me when I hear about my religion. They always shock me. Like you, you just imagine her husband, maybe like there may be some slave girls who her husband, brothers and sisters are alive. Who will allow her, her sister, her mother to be raped? No one allow it. But this filthy man did this for the whole of his life. And these Muslims are just sugar coating. Like, uh, you know, uh, uh, about five eight years ago, when you were uh, talking with the Muslims, I was a Muslim, definitely I was a Muslim that time. You know, I hated you a lot. 
and i was uh, when you are uh, busting someone i was coming to zakir naik and sheikh usman these people and they were just sugar coating the uh, the quran the hadith when i studied by myself i found the truth that everything that they were saying was the false was the opposite of what they were saying but what uh, it was written in the quran in the hadith so you know now i am in the border of muslims and non muslim where to go here to step on yeah well this is a garbage cult and you know the lord he says from their fruits you shall know them and uh, muhammad obviously he, yeah yeah, he yeah. I, I i remember yeah he fabricate his own rules and then he is the first one not to follow them and the muslim they claim because he's a prophet yeah he is above the rule but this is what cult leaders do they don't follow those and, hypocrite those munafiqeen. and you know you know yeah you know what Aisha is saying to him, uh, to the Prophet. And this is this uh, hadith, maybe in Sahih Bukhari or what, in, what else thing. He is saying to the Prophet, like, I have not seen you, your Lord, except fulfilling your desires. So imagine when a Sahaba is telling a Prophet such thing, you, you, you decide how, what kind of person was this. Only for his desires, the ayah was coming. When, we, when it was for his desire, like uh, this guy was talking with you, Surah Tahrim. You know Surah Tahrim? Yeah. He fabricated this, chapters this, as he uh, wished. This, uh, the only one, what yeah. the only one who this understood one. Prophet Muhammad perfectly is Kamala Harris. She can unburden what has been. You know, that uh, the, the Muhammad is just uh, yeah. another, you know, he changed his color, he changed his religion, he changed his statement. The main, so yeah. she, she was Indian now she is a black tomorrow she will be uh, you know Filipina with the event where she is so she is Asian you know he was so just wait tomorrow she will be uh, Chinese so Muhammad is the same he's, yeah he says something even even the Muslim they say is that he says something in the morning he enjoy his companion something and he changed his mind afternoon so he gave them verse in the morning saying you can do this afternoon is not even second day. I mean, this guy is mentally yeah. ill. Even Kamala don't do that. Ill. Yeah. Now, like, you know, Wahhabat Nafsan, you may have heard of this. So this is mean like someone is offering, uh, a woman is offering herself to you. When Aisha um, aware of this, this uh, situation, she was just telling the woman that it is a big shame. It is a big shame that you are offering yourselves to a man. It is a big shame. Even Aisha was criticizing, even the people of that time was criticizing these things. We are not the only ones who are becoming the apostates and they are mm, giving fatwas to kill them. I don't care about them. Even, you know, I live in, Ab in Afghanistan, in a Muslim country, where, you know, if you declare your faith, even if Zakir Naik comes to my country, he will be stoned because he is not uh, with our belief. He is against our belief. So, you know, there are more than these things like uh, they don't want to show us we are just brainwashed by these peoples yeah. like you know for uh, my age is about 24 uh, years and these 24 years were just the most saddest life of ever for me my english is not good i hope you will understand <laughs> well we are here to expose the liar guys you hear me because people they say in my voice in uh, Discord cutting off. That's not because my mic is bad. This is a Discord, you know. It's not really a perfect program. What we can do? Anyway, Muhammad, I'm happy that you yeah, decided brother. to leave Islam. Happy for you. And feel free to join now, us anytime. Now, do you remember today? Uh, can I say uh, the last uh, sentence? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you know. Uh, my journey in these 24 uh, years was just a lie. When I started following you, while, while you were debunking the lies of the Muslims, I was searching. I was not like the people, like, I don't believe you. I was searching. And after I discovered that you are telling the truth, I decided to separate myself from this filthy cult forever. Yeah. But I understand all Muslims in the beginning, they hate me. And they think I, you know, like I'm just an evil person. Yeah, brother. Yeah, but, you know, uh, the but... first thing I, I. Go ahead. Yeah. 
You know, yeah, as you said that the Muslims in the beginning, they hate me because they are brainwashed. As a little kid, when I remember, when someone was, when someone was, uh, someone was cursing my prophet, I was like, about, I should kill him. Even I intended to discuss with you, even I intended when I found, find the Christian trans like the apostate prophet in the YouTube, I will kill them. You know, this was my first intention I, when I was a Muslim, when they were cursing. So after when I understood, uh, you know, everything is clear. I don't just want to even talk about it anymore. Well, you know, we go in life through like uh, stages and everything have to take time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, slowly, slowly, uh, you know, in the beginning, it's like a wild horse. Uh, the wild horse, uh, he will not accept things which is not normal for, for a horse. Yeah. Uh, so the Muslim normally, he grew up in a society ever praising one man, worshipping one man, who dare to speak about this man. So the first time they hear something negative about this man, they cannot believe it. For there's no way, what are you talking about? But then slowly, slowly, they check, they find out. Actually, there's a guy from Afghanistan before spoke to me. Uh, I showed him some reference. He said, you are a liar. I'm going to get you busted. And then he went and he came back after maybe a few weeks. And he said, I decide to leave Islam. Everything you showed me is absolutely true. And he was so upset. Yeah. He was a guy, you want to kill me, you want to find me, you know, they try to intimidate me. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not the person who anyone can intimidate. But So, brother, after leaving this cult, uh, what should I do? I don't know how to choose my yes, way. I cannot tell you anything. I believe for in God. Me, for me, I am a Christian, and I believe the only Savior we have is the Messiah. So, I invite yeah. you to believe in the Messiah as your Lord, as your Savior. But remember... We Christian, we don't believe that in saying Shahada, you are saved. You have to believe. Yeah. You have to follow. You have to do as the Lord said. We don't believe if you say Shahada, yeah. uh, this is that set, you are being saved. <laughs> Only in Islam you can do that. So I invite you to believe in the Lord, in the Messiah. He is your own Savior. So to be your personal Savior, not only the whole world. This is the difference between Islam and Christianity. Every one of us, yeah. every one of us, he is considered as a child of God. And a child of God, God, he knows us by our names. And he knows us by our fruits, for we are his children. So we as a Christians, when we pray, yeah. we say our Father. We don't say our God. We say our Father. This is how God, he <clears throat> is loving. Because, you know, we are no one. We are nothing. It's like saying, imagine an ant saying to you, Father. And still you you say, yes, I am your father. I mean, that doesn't make sense. You are It's an ant. But because this God, yeah. an amazing, loving God, he allow us to be calling him father, for we are his children. And when you are a child of God, this is the time you are saved. It's not by saying the word father, but by following the father. So to be Christian is to do, to act, to live, to die, as Jesus asked you to do willingly, not because somebody forced you. So if you believe that you are qualified to believe in the Holy Messiah, for his act is holy, his word is holy, his life is holy, his death is holy, his resurrection is holy, and right now he is in the holy heaven, for he is holy. If you believe in him, you are a child of God. So, CP, you know, and I'm still going to read the Bible, you know, my friends are just uh, going to say, uh, show me the errors, like uh, Isaiah was 23 years old, 43, year, 43 years old. Those are so not, when I, those uh, are read not the errors. No, those are not errors. You see, people, they don't understand the culture. So like, uh, uh, they count, they count, one is counting how many years yeah. the family is ruling, one is counting how yeah. many years he was ruling. Because if you are under age, you don't, you don't, you don't rule. Your your mother rule, or you know someone else like the one who is in charge. So a person who yeah. is not, he, he's the king, but he cannot rule yet because he is not qualified yeah. to be the king. So this is their uh, this their silly understanding. It's like you know, if I show you an old uh, printed Bible, a hundred years ago, you will not find the word yeah. Jesus there. The word Jesus does not exist in English. It's not. So. 
why is that exist? How come did Jesus know? Because at that time they didn't have it. The, the, the letters even didn't have it. So, so the words, the ignorant, he might think, oh, this is an addition. This is a corruption. No, it's someone who knows the language. He knew the secret. He knew what behind it. The word gay. In the old printed Bible, you will see the word gay is exist. It says it means happy. Now the word gay is a yeah. word mean homosexual, which is far away from the truth because homosexual is not happy. But this is how they hijack the language. So an ignorant person, he can come a hundred years from now and he say, oh, look, in the old uh, printed Bible, they say the word gay. But this is not what the word was. So a person who have knowledge, he will not say what they say. An ignorant, he will see it as contradiction. A person of knowledge, yeah. he will see it as a wise wisdom of God. As the Bible says, so that the cross, the cross mm -hmm. is an is a, is a foolishness, you know, for 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 the ignorant, you know, for them, it's so, to believe in such a thing is a foolishness. But for us, is the top wisdom. Yeah. So will Jesus uh, punish the ones who did uh, make the make the people as slaves? Uh, Jesus punish what? Uh, will Jesus punish the peoples? Who enslaved the the woman or the children or anyone else? Jesus punish. Are you talking about the women who was uh, uh, accused of fornication? Yeah, like when you enslave them and will, rape Jesus, them. Jesus, he said, will Jesus go, punish? Them? Go and sin no more. Go and sin yeah. no more. So Jesus did not. No, CP. I, I don't know. My what question was. Uh, yeah, I'm not hearing you correctly. Go ahead. Um, sure, the Afghanistan don't have a better internet. So I was asking you, will Jesus punish the peoples who enslaved the peoples? Jesus will punish the people who enslave people? Uh, yeah. You see? Make uh, the uh, people slaves. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it depend, depend if you are a person who were ignorant, if you act, or a person who knows that your act is wrong. And then, uh, uh, at the end of the day, all a human being are sinners, and the slavery is one of the bad things a human being he did to a human being. So, if we say that Jesus will not punish someone who did sin, uh, uh, then we have to accept that everyone who did sin will not be punished. But this is not what the Bible teach. The Bible teach that if you are a person who commits sin in your life, God give you opportunity to repent and fix your life. But if you fix your life, then you have to oppose your previous life and go forward to the new life you've chosen to be. So let us say I used to be a slave owner and I took the, the, the freedom of someone who don't even deserve to be a slave. Like somebody, uh, you know, I, I saw him in the street, I capture him, I force him to be slavery. Uh, it's not even an enemy, it's not even a war time. So if a person he do that, God he will I believe God is about justice. He will punish every human being based on the crimes he committed. How and what God will do, I, I will leave that to God, for he is all about just. However, it is for the benefit of mankind that God he gave options to repent. Otherwise, a criminal yeah. he will commit more crime because he lost hope. So he say, you know what? I'm going to be bad anyway. I'm going to go to hell anyway. So let me kill more. Let me rape more. Let me, uh, you know, do disgusting things more because I'm not going to be forgiven. So forgiveness is a way from God uh, and a mercy for the one who will be the victim and the one who will do the crime. So now the criminal, yeah. when he say I will be forgiven if I stop, he will stop doing the crime. So by the, by by that. Uh, 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 by the God of mercy, the the one who will commit the crime will stop doing the crime, and then the victim he isn't going to be a victim no more. So repentance and forgiveness is very important to correct a human being behavior. However, I believe still God yeah. he have his own way to punish the ones who did bad for their bad. So thank you, CP. Like now, you know, I appreciate you see, it. You see, all of us when we do bad, we feel guilty, correct? We feel guilty, uh, and I think yeah. this is this is one of the ways 
where God he punish us he put inside us our conscious so we feel yeah this is we feel yeah. guilty this is the point I always uh, note like uh, you know I think in some of the places uh, he said like the kingdom of God is within you like uh, what your nature dislike you should not do uh, that thing as uh, for my knowing God forgiveness start from yourself when you when you forgive others like when we Christians we pray we say forgive to us the same as we forgive to others so the point of this prayer yeah. and starting from forgiveness to others is the key to receive forgiveness because every human being he did harm to somebody else every human being so in order to receive forgiveness you have to learn how to forgive otherwise you don't deserve it so to make it simple to receive mercy you have to be merciful to receive love you have to love to be giving you have to give yeah so this is what Christianity is about you struggle always in your life so CP, CP, my internet is about to finish, you know. I just uh, activated it for a while. So I'm asking you just uh, the last question, just uh, give me a short answer. Right. Uh, if I uh, confronted uh, any like these contradictions, like uh, I think this is contradiction, but in fact, this is not whom should I ask? Oh, first of all, we have many Christian websites refuting those contradictions. You can search them online. They give you ex like exactly good details. And, uh, you know, you can come to me. I, I, I cannot say I'm a scholar in the yeah. Bible. Uh, however, I believe that the Lord, he always guides us to answer and to refute. And I believe the Bible is a clear book. If you decide to read it, uh, uh, you know, yeah. uh, like there is, I can read a book just to question it. And I can read a book to understand it. So depend what you want. For me as a Christian, I do both. I question yeah. and I understand. But a person who is just trying to find negative, Definitely. he don't want to listen, he will find only negative. But we have refutation for yeah. every single contradiction they claim to be exist. And trust me, the Bible is being studied by Christians for the last 2,000 years, and we are not the same as the Muslims. We are extremely very well educated. The Muslims are a bunch of Abdul. Even they accept that their prophet himself do not know how to write, how to read. And the Messiah himself, he commands us to search the books. And he said, then you will find the truth, and the truth will set you free. So we have the Quran, chapter 5, verse yeah. 101 says, don't ask questions. And we have Jesus saying, go and read the books, search the books, and find the truth. So it's a command from Jesus to read the books and to search and to investigate. All right? I guess he lost his internet, maybe. Uh, Slayers of Lies. Go ahead. Hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? I hear you. Are you a Muslim? Uh, no, no, no. Actually, I, I was born in a Muslim family, in a Muslim culture. Okay. But fortunately, I never... Um, well, I practiced because uh, I was born in a Muslim family, but as I grew up, uh -huh. I always had... Uh, uh, this curiosity about everything as a child, because I was growing up. All right. So I left. Uh, I just, well, actually, I'm out of nationality, but uh, the ethnicity is Hazara, which is the original people of Afghanistan, because Afghanistan is like a new country. So it's a bit messed up. Um, uh, so I left, uh, I, I grew up in Pakistan and I left Pakistan when I was 15. Long story short, I went to England, then I, I continued my research. And, um, I never really have ever uh, been a Muslim and I always had doubts about uh, Islam. But the main problem now is uh, CP. I'm, I'm so glad, first of all, that I found your channel. It's been a, it's been a blessing. Uh, and I've uh, watched many of your videos, and um, you're really the one to go for the Muslims come in and well, I'm happy. they really want to. I'm happy for you that you decide to leave Islam, and uh, welcome, welcome, brother. Can Thanks. can I take some of your time just a little bit because we have a, a Muslim Shia 
He is yep. in the stage. He want to debate me. Is it okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Uh, Ibrahim, how are you doing, Ibrahim? And you have the the, the picture of Al, -Qur Al Qurashi, Amir Al Qurashi, the guy who laughs at the Quran all the time. Are you there, Ibrahim? I like Al Qurashi. He laughs at the Quran all day long. Why you don't invite Al Qurashi, Ibrahim Dean? Are you there? If I show you guys the videos of Al Qurashi, Al Qurashi is a Shia. He cursed Muhammad. He fought at Muhammad. He fought at Aisha. He spit at the Quran. And what we are, he is saying the truth. I mean, Muhammad is a fraud. So what those Shia they do, they believe that they have their own religion. They are not the same as those Muslim Sunni. The Sunnis are. Assalamu alaikum ya ikhwa. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah. How are you doing, man? I'm fine. So you are from the followers of Amir al Qurashi. What? I didn't hear you. The picture you have in your in your icon yeah. is Amir al Qurashi. Hafidullah. Yes. Okay, but he make fun of the Quran all the time. Is that correct? He doesn't make fun of the Quran. I, Brother, I can this play is why you. ignorance has to be silenced. Yeah. I can so play. I can you, play. You watch some. You watch some small clips of Amir al Qurashi, Hafidullah, and you believe that he makes fun of the holy book. No, he doesn't make fun of the holy book. I can show you the videos. He doesn't. I can show you the whole videos. What are you talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. He is speaking about the Sunni, uh, Sunni version of the Tafsir of the Quran. No, he's he speaking me? about the Quran. No, 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 not no, the no. Sunni version of the Quran. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Habibi, no. Okay. You, Habibi, no. But you I didn't want to challenge me? You want to challenge me? Christian Prince. You want to challenge me? I didn't come here to this. Okay. 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 It's a class. Who cares? No, I care, I care because you said he don't. I no, no. I you you said you said he don't. You said he don't. And this is not a true. All right. So... Uh, so, so did I come so here to talk about Amir al Qurayshi, or, or did I come here to speak about your your religion, Christianity? I want to become a so, Christian, maybe. So do you agree? Oh, was, do, you ag do, you agree do you agree? that Al Qurayshi make fun of the Quran? Yes or no? I haven't seen those videos. I can I cannot, I cannot speak. I can show it to you right now. Yeah, but for me, it doesn't matter. For me, it doesn't matter. No, actually, it does because matter. Because I, I only it, have it. Okay, hold it on, hold matter. on. Let me... It does matter because if you uh, if you are talking, you you are carrying the picture of the guy, and you listen to the guy, and you speak. You are saying you speak in the name of the guy, but yet you lie to me using taqiyya, saying this guy don't make fun of the Quran. Why you do that? It doesn't. But I do have his profile picture to troll the Sunnis. All right. So okay, but leave leave Amir al Qureshi alone in this one. Why you want to leave I him came here why, to speak about leave, Christianity. Why you want to leave him alone? What the problem? Because I came here to speak about Christianity. I didn't come uh -huh. here to speak about a certain man, okay. bro. Just to show everybody who is like, here. That's glazing, bro. Okay, come hold on, on hold on. Just to show everybody how Muslim Shia, they lie all the time. 24 hours, 7 days a week. So a long-standing feature, maybe the... This is the... This is YouTube. And this is the, the channel of Al Qurashi. All right? I will use Google Translation... Right away it says, uh, making fun of the Quran, cursing the Quran, all the title, read the title. All right, bro, go, just, just go to the point, bro. The, the point we is... Don't have, we don't have the, to hear the, this the yapping. Point is, the point is... We don't have to hear the, the yapping, point, The point is that you, Muslim Shia, you lie a lot. You do something, you say yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, we Shias lie a lot. All right, all right. Okay, uh, so, yeah, continue. so before continue. before we we continue, do you admit that you lied to me? Here we go. Look, it says Sheikh Saadi. I, I didn't lie to you because I don't know. Arad li asrat al qal al qabr fi hayati ala the Sheikh Qurayshi tahrif al Quran and the Sunnah. Do you see it, Habibi? Just just press on the video and show us the proof. Okay, here we go. No, right. no, you cannot well, show me text, bro. Go go to the video. I'm Khalas. showing the video. Ahlan wa marhaba. Min wain jinabik? I don't hear anything. 
Arun, Arun, hear in people in uh, in Discord. You don't hear anything. I I don't hear anything. I swear. Okay, hold on. Um, well, I mean, the the question is, what is your opinion? You Shia, you say that the Quran is corrupt. This is the start, the first second. Here we go. I will give you the video. You can open it in your side, and tell me if I'm lying. Here we go. This is the video. Let me. Oh, show me the video, bro. Stop yapping. Just show me the video. Bro. I am showing you the video. It's in the front of your eyes. I just posted. It for yeah, you. but like, bro, let I'll me listen show to you. It. The first statement in the video, you Shia, you. What's the you, first statement? The first statement he said to him, a Saudi Sheikh. He called Al Qurashi, saying, "You Shia, you claim the Quran is bad. The Quran is corrupt. Read. Listen." Translation. He said to him, Assalamu alaikum. He said, Where are you from? He said, I am from Saudi Arabia. Al Qurashi said to him, You are a Sunni. The guy, he said, Yes. I'm back. I'm he said, back. I was I ask, he said, Can I ask the first question? He said, Okay, go ahead. Uh, I don't hear anything. He said to him, I have a question I, I, regarding I, I your... you. I, I, have... Wallah, what I, Wallah, I don't hear anything. I don't care if you're here. I gave you the video. Click on it and open it. I gave you the link. Stop saying I don't hear it. Here we go. I gave you the link. I, I gave you the yeah, link. Yeah, I, the link. Camera, I don't the, hear anything. The link is posted. The question is why you believe in the corruption of the Quran. So this is Al Qurashi. Why you lie to me? I don't lie to you. You said he don't. Bro, I don't hear anything. Like, how he, can I, how can I give you a, I how can I give you, you an answer? Guys, this if I don't the, hear anything. You, you didn't show me any do. proof. Listen, listen, this is what the Shia do. This is a Shia, this is how Shia are. They lie in, in the front of you. I played the video, he, I don't hear it. I gave you the link. He don't oh, hear what it. Do you mean this is the Shia? What the Shia I gave do? you the so, link. So hold on, hold on a quick. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So if if one Shia does wrong, do you think that every Shia is he like is that? Not one so Shia, one he is the one you have his picture in your icon. That means he is the one you. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about Amir Quraishi now. I'm talking yes, about myself. No, I'm talking if about. If I lie, I am why do you think that the I'm Shia do? So, so you take every Shia I am Shia talking to... specifically about Amir al Quraishi because Quraishi because you. Okay, have... okay, okay, brother, brother. I didn't come here to talk about Amir al Quraishi. Okay, he he insults the Quran. What, what can I do now? Okay, but what you said to me, no, he don't. If you say so, why, why I don't you know. Lie? Look, I don't know. Look at the but title. I don't know. Look at the title. Here I don't know. This is his video. channel. This is his channel. Do you see the title? It says, Why you curse the Quran and the mother of brother, the believer Aisha. Do you see it? Brother, I don't give a fuck about Aisha, bro. Uh, he don't give the F. Uh, now you, you, the holy word of Shia is coming. Huh? Why you are using bad language? Forgive me. All right. I didn't mean so okay, listen. I didn't mean to so you are a Shia. What what does that mean when you say you are a Shia? What do you mean? What Shia? Are you asking about my aqidah? What Shia? I mean, yeah. What what what, what do you mean by saying you are Shia? I'm Ibn Ashari. Okay, and is that mean oh. you follow Ali and Muhammad? Uh, okay, uh, the Shia aqidah. I'm Ibn Ashari. I'm a twelver. I'm a Rafidi. So basically, we we Muslim Shias we believe that after the death of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi, it should be his cousin a cousin that leads uh, the Ummah the, the Muslim uh, yeah the, the Muslim people, uh -huh. which is Imam Ali alayhi salam. We don't believe Abu Bakr sh uh, should be the appointed leader. Okay, so is it true that the Shia they believe that Ali and Muhammad and his family they are not a human; they are light from the forehead of Allah. We do believe that they were created with light, uh, with the nur, uh -huh. but they are humans. They are still humans. Yeah, but they, they, are still they have they have the appearance of a human, but they are not a human. They are the appearance. They, they also died. You understand me? They have the appearance of a human, but they are not a human. They are they are humans. They are humans, but they ha they have light, nur, nur of, no, uh, no, of Allah. They are created from light. They are not having they, light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Try to understand so if they are that created, these people, if they are uh, created these people from, are okay. certain people that Allah Azza wa Jal chose to be the leaders and to be guidance for us. They are infallible people. Okay. All right. So yeah. 
They yeah. are when you say, when you oh, say they are still they, humans. They are still humans, Yahi. They are still humans. No, no. Who, your who Shia eat? book says no. They are not really human. They have the flesh of a human, but they are not. Really okay, human. whatever. Okay, but, I came here. But you just say. Uh, but let you, me but tell you, you just say. Okay, okay. But you are just saying. You, you asked me not, about my aqidah and you try to teach me about my aqidah. But you just say. You know anything I about my I can teach you. Why not? I can prove you wrong because if I say something to you, I can get you busted with it. So what? You can say whatever you want, but you, you cannot prove me wrong. Can you prove me wrong? You said to me that they are not people who commit sin, correct? Did you say that? You said that. That means they are God. They are not a human because every human commits sin. When you say that the family of Muhammad, Ali and Muhammad and Hassan and Hussein and Fatima, they don't commit sin, that means they are perfect and perfection only no, to God. Allah Azza wa Jal says that the Ahlul Bayt of the Prophet are purified in the Holy Book. All right. You are purified. Okay, let us see if this is true. When your prophet, he gave sexual advice to Ali, and those advices are hilarious and stupid. How he can be, how he can say to me, look at this. This, Aki, is, Aki, Aki. this is your book. No, this is your book. Aki. This is your Aki, this, Aki. this is your prophet saying to Ali, you know, we can go to the the page number uh, 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 to 80, and you will see how hilarious what you call them, the one who never... Habib, you're talking about him. Listen, listen, here we go. This is your prophet speaking to Ali. Oh, Ali, when you enter into your pride, uh, 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 take off her shoes when she said no, 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 yeah, and yeah, wash yeah, her can, feet I, with I water. Speak. Why? Because if you do so, will come That's out of your happen. house 70,000 kind of poorness just for washing the feet of the wife. And then will bring seventy thousand blessing from Allah just for washing the wife's feet in the first day. Oh Ali, he said to him, uh, "If uh, if you if you have uh, 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 if you have sex with your wife, let us see this one here. This is your prophet, the one you claim they never make mistake. Him and Ali, don't if yaki, your, yaki. don't if your wife uh, in the beginning of the month, brother, 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 Christian prince, man." I came here to speak about the Christianity, brother. I don't, I don't, I don't. I cannot to speak talk about to you. Right I now. cannot talk to you about Christianity unless you confess. Why not? Because I want to learn about Christianity. I am here to learn about how. Problem? I'm here to learn to teach people first about how bad Islam is. When a Muslim leave Islam, he is welcome to ask me about Christianity. Did you decide to leave Islam? Yeah, yeah. I, I want to learn about Christianity. No, no. Say. I curse Muhammad, he is the devil, and Allah no, is not No, I wouldn't mine. curse Muhammad sallallahu alayhi Because wa alayhi wa if you leave Islam, you do so. If you don't leave Islam, you are lying to him. You are doing taqiyya now. Yeah, but I came here to speak about your religion. I just told you what I do here. I here to speak about your yeah. religion. And then when somebody leave Islam, I tell him about Christianity. <laughs> Bro, this, this is coping, Wallahi. This is coping. How, so you, uh, you have a Christian. Are, you, are, have, are, hold on, are hold you ashamed, are you ashamed of speaking I, about your religion? I'm not ashamed. Okay, what, I'm not. What is the title? Well, I came here. What is the title? My solely purpose what is, is the title? I came here what to is, speak about your religion. Listen, you what, have a VC. What is the title? What, like, what is the title of this discord? Does it say Christianity? No. Yeah, so you know yeah, the topic. The debate with a Muslim, whatever his you name is. You know the topic, and now you are trying to Arab avoid the, the embarrassment. So what about? Allah, okay, the, 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 let us do this. Let us do this. I will give you fifteen minutes. To prove me wrong, and you give me fifteen minutes to prove you wrong. Go ahead. No, no, I can't. Wallahi, Rabb al Kaaba, my Wallah, Allah Azza wa Jal is my witness. I came to this VC only to speak about Christianity. No I didn't come here no, to speak no about problem. Shia or the but, Sunni or Islam. But, okay, okay. Go, I, I have no okay, purpose of speaking about. Okay, go ahead. Islam. I'm not forbidden from speaking about anything. Go ahead. Speak. Habib, speak Habib, 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 I'm, 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 I'm a Shia kafir. Okay, okay leave okay. my religion. Okay, okay, I'm a kafir. Speak about Christianity. Go, go ahead. Okay, speak Halas, about Christianity. Habib, go ahead. Go ahead. Speak about Christianity. Yeah, bro, okay. I want to speak about Christianity. Okay, go ahead. Like what's the what's what's uh, yeah, khal, khalas. So I have a question for you. Uh huh. In your Bible, do you claim that the uh, the Bible is the Word of God? It is. Uh, okay, so you believe it's the Word of God. Well, when we say the Bible is the Word of God, doesn't mean that every word written there. Here comes the yapping. What? All right. Now, but if you ask a Muslim, is the Quran Word of God? We will say yes. خلاص. No, if you if you say yes, that means you are stupid because the, in the Quran the ant is talking, the shaitan is talking. You are stupid then. 
you muslims are a bunch of oh, yeah, yeah. you you muslims when when when, when you, i ask you you muslims, uh, you, 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 muslims you muslims are stupid always when you got say, a yap hold always on. got a yap when you muslim you say it is yes the word of god this is because you are a stupid idiot and your god himself is quoting the end so how this is the word of god who's talking here read the verse oh what who is talking here chapter 27 verse number 18 god or the end Brother, are you are you mentally ill? Uh, let's see who is the mentally ill. You say Habib, that are you, you say Ill? that the Quran. And if you ask any Muslim, he will yeah, say it's yes. The word the of God. Yes, it's the word okay. of God. So who is talking in this verse? Read for me. But you don't understand, Habibi. Habibi, I speak. Don't tell me, Habibi. Answer. Who is talking? Allah. Habibi, let me meet Marwa. I speak. Who is talking? The end or Allah? And Chabla, Kashmar. Let me talk. What do you talk? What do you not talk? What do you not talk? And Chab. قشمار ش... آه آه قشمار قشمار اي انت قشمار تشب انت شب اسمع لم يسبيك احترم نفسك انت احترم نفسك قشمار بطي قشمار اي <تصفيق> قشمار اني تشك نياتش انت ما تدري اسمع 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 so now who is so who is talking who is talking the end or Allah who is talking? The ant or Allah? I want to ask. Let me tell you. Go ahead. Kashmar. Listen, if you want to insult me, I would insult Ali. Honestly. If you insult Ali? Yeah. Do you want to insult Ali? You are insulting me. I did not insult. What do you mean insult Ali? If you, do you, do if you, you want to insult if Ali? If you keep saying to me bad words, I will say bad words to Ali as a return. So then, then you have no manners. So behave yourself. Then you have no manners. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. I did not insult you. Allah, Allah, Allah. I'm asking you. Okay, whatever, whatever. Who is the man, one is talking in this verse? Allah or the end? I, I, bro, Habibi, can I explain then? What, what is this? Except, okay, explain. This guy is, is you, keep speaking you when I tell us. I said to you, you said to me, anyone, you ask any Muslim, he, uh, if the Quran is the word of Allah, he will say yes. Habibi, okay, I will explain. I should know how. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Can I khara? Go ahead. Again, don't insult, I will insult Ali. I'm saying you, this is the last warning. If you insult, if you okay, insult okay, me, if you insult me one more time, okay, do not, do not insult Ali, Ali do, not, do, not, bro, shut up, shut up. do not insult him. All right, go ahead. okay, okay, bro, shut up, shut up, shut up. Do not insult him. If you insult him, bro, wallah, wallah. okay, whatever. <laughs> before, before continuing this discussion, uh -huh. I have to praise. محمد اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد وعجل وفرجهم ولعن على أداءهم أجمعين آمين. okay بسم الله. so this 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 youth this Christian wanna be debater. he is saying just because a verse is speaking with you in another perspective this guy believes a ant wrote spoke in the Quran يا حبيبي حبيبي Quran has different perspectives. Okay, so for example, when an ant speaks to you, it speaks in a perspective so you can understand what the ant means. Understand? But it's still the words of God. So, for example, my brother, for example, if I tell you, if I tell you, let's, let's say, for example, you, you fight someone, okay, or, or you have, okay, let's say your friend tells me something. Then I, I come to you and I approach you, I, and I speak uh, to you by your friend's pers perspective. I say that your friend said this and that. It's still my words. It's still coming from my mouth. But I'm just telling you what your friend told me about you. Do you understand me? The same way what the ant says, Allah is speaking by the ant's perspective. What's the problem with that? I don't see a problem. You are done? Are but you, but I, I don't understand you. I don't you, see a are problem. You, are you done? Hold on. Okay. So did you, the ant say those words or the ant did not say those words? Hold on, bro. I got to go, man. Where do you want to go? My bad, bro. Where do you want to go? Taqiyya. My dad is calling me. Taqiyya. No, 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 no. Wallah, wallah, no. Taqiyya. Wallah, you know. Taqiyya. You are running. <laughs> not My Ami dad is calling. A me. follower of Amir al Qurashi is running. They are like al Qurashi. I'm not is a running. Potato. I, I'm, I swear to God, I'm not running. Okay, come. You, you promise me to come back. Okay, but okay. You promise Let's me to come back. Let's schedule up at the beach. You promise me yeah. to come back. Yeah, I promise. All right, go ahead. Take care. You too. Uh huh.
the end. Allah is uh, Allah is telling us about the end from His perspective. What? Allah became like uh, 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 Joe Biden. He is an end. He have a speaker in the house, and Allah is the same. The ant is the president. Allah is the speaker of the house. So he speak in the ant perspective. Potato. Potato, 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 potato. HX is back? Seriously. Yes, HX. How are you doing? Uh, Salaam alaikum. Salaam, salaam. Uh, okay, so... Before I was at home, so I couldn't speak properly because in case uh, uh, my your, parents your, hear me. Your voice is like your voice is like coming from inside the barrel. Can you fix your microphone? Okay, so Yo, Krista, Prince. Okay. I have a question. Enough. Yeah, now how, how long will you have this debate? How long will you have this VT? You were you, you were using a voice changer, this is why the voice was messed up, right? You answer my question. No, now your voice is normal. Before you were using voice changer. Why are you using voice Ooh, changer? Me? No, no, it's because it's because I'm outside. I'm outside. Ah, so now, was Allah? Who is speaking here in this verse? I will give you the question I gave to the one before. You. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm telling you. Uh, how long will you have this uh, VC? How long will have what? This this uh, VC like yeah uh, this uh, thing. Think what? Live debate. I have it this, and, this, and, this and, thing, bro. Uh, uh, as long Allah is dead, I will be alive. What? As long Allah is dead, I will be alive. As long as Allah is dead? Yeah. Ibn al Qundara. Qundara is better than you. Ibn al Qundara. Look, the Kharwan Chub. Hassan and Hussein are mighty. Hey, another time you saw it. Hey, another time. If you saw it, you saw it. Hassan and Hussein are a pair of masoura. I warn you, if you insult me, I will insult Ali and Hassan and Hussein. I warn you. Potato coward. How many times, guys, I warned him? But obviously, he don't respect his uh, gods. They worship Hassan and Hussein. You insult me, I warn you. I told you, if you insult me one more time, I'm being nice to them. I'm not insulting them. You know? <laughs> uh, uh, H, are you there? Yeah, yeah. All right. What do you want to say to us? Uh, okay. So uh, before, what I was trying to say is, uh, so I, 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 the thing is, I, uh, I grew up in Muslim household, and uh, I grew up non-denominational. So we love Shia or Sunni, but uh, uh, when I was uh, like thirteen or fourteen, I. Uh, I looked into Shia and Sunni, and then I thought Sunni is just ridiculous. Uh, like, I thought Sunni is just stupid. So I became Shia, and then I, I graduated from Madrasa, from the mosque, and I became very, very educated, read a lot of books. But then I looked into Christianity, and I liked a lot of the stuff about it. I liked, like, the principles, the doctrine, the love, the forgiveness, the teachings of Jesus and everything. And then also, I think after that, uh, I noticed in Islam, one thing that I just can't bring myself to agree with is sort of like the ritualism, where you have to, for example, if you do the wudu wrong, then the salah is wrong, and then if you don't do the namaz in the right time, then you know Allah, he gives you the sin. Or some people even say, if you miss one prayer, you're kafir. Um, but for example, I think I saw your video, you made a very good point. Um, you said uh, that I think you were, it was quite funny, you said that, that you know, or uh, God is not a bus stop that you know when you miss the prayer he cannot pray it again. So this I also agreed with this. Uh, and I don't really like the ritualism and I like how Christianity is more free where you love God with your own heart and you know and he loves you not always like I'd be honest when I was with the like the Quran uh, in English and every time I used to, I used to even ask my parents, I say why just say hell, hell, hell we destroy this person, we destroy this person, we go you go hell. And at the same time, Allah says that so these people, they're misguided because he misguided them. Because he says he misguides who he wills. So he wanted to misguide them, and then he put them in hell. So then I'm, I'm attracted, like, sort of to Christianity now, but I don't, I think I need to 
Because I still do believe somewhat in Shia, because I have some doubts sometimes where I get scared if I'm on it, like, oh, if I leave Islam, then, you know, I'm going to go hell or something like that. So, uh, I think, but you're a very smart person, honestly. Uh, you know a lot, you speak Arabic as well. So I think that's why I came here to talk to you, yeah. So did you decide now to leave Islam? I'm thinking about it, but I'm not there yet. All right. If there's anything well, I, I if there's anything I can help you with, yeah, I think because for me, I think it's an easy thing. It's if Islam, if Shia Islam was proved to me to be false, one hundred percent, then I would I would automatically become Christian because I don't believe in any other religion. I believe it's either Shia Islam or it's Christianity. There's no other true religion. It's one of these two. But my friend, look, you see the the screen. This guy is Shia Sheikh. His name is Amir al Qurashi. He spit at yeah, the Quran. Yeah, I see this guy. He's a big, yeah. big clown. He's a he spit at the Quran. He laughed at the Quran. He insulted the Quran, and he called Aisha whore. And uh, if I remember, I showed you already in the Quran. It says that bad women they marry bad men. Correct. So uh -huh. if all the Shia agree that Aisha she was a very bad woman. And the Quran confirmed that Allah make a destiny only bad women marry bad men and only bad men marry bad women. That means Muhammad must be a bad man. And if the Quran is made by God who is all wise, all knowing, and he says such a stupid statement, don't Allah knew that in the same Quran it says that Aisha is a bad woman? And this is a clear evidence that the Quran contradicts itself. Plus, this verse in front of us is very stupid and very unwise because there's many bad women marry good men and there's many good women I mean the opposite so uh, when we when we teach that it's destiny Allah destined that bad women always marry bad men that is not a statement of the wise God this is a statement of Abdul an idiot this is not from God uh, same time <laughs> Same time, a human being is not 100% always bad and 100% always good because we change, you know. So a person yesterday, he was bad. He might be turned to be a good person today. Do we agree? Pe yeah. People repent. So why you want to make a, 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 an evil man for evil women and how that will work? This is marriage. So now they are married, they are stuck. Yeah. So if I marry yeah. only bad man for bad women, and then Muhammad is a prophet of God, and he is married to a bad woman, that means Muhammad is a bad person. All of this is nothing but a contradiction of the of the quality of the Quran. It's just a stupid book. Remember, I was uh, watching, like I've been looking at about the crucifixion. Of Jesus and like all like even people that are atheists or Hindu, Jewish, whatever, or even I think there was a Muslim scholar, big Muslim scholar, I forgot his name now. He wrote a book about it, uh, and in the book it says like he admits that all the historical evidence like almost unanimously state that Jesus was crucified. And I think there were only two scholars ever, and I forgot their name, and none of them were Muslim by the way. But there were two scholars ever that say he wasn't. They still say he died, but they don't say he was crucified. But every other historical scholar would unanimously agree that if anything happened in Jesus' life that we know, then it's the fact that he died on the cross. But the problem, like, is 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 uh, when we read the Quran, it says he wasn't. And then, but even when I was young, that didn't really make sense to me, because he wasn't, but it was supposed to look like that. But if it makes to look like that, the people are going to believe that he died. So, like, technically, didn't Allah just invent a lie for 600 years exactly. until the Prophet comes in? Exactly. But, I don't really understand. But, but not only this, not only this, look, the verse says, Allah, he made it appear to them. So how you say he was not crucified, but then Allah made it appear to them. That means Allah, he made a movie. He made someone on the cross. He looked exactly like Jesus. So that means that the Christian Bible is absolutely telling the truth because this is what they saw. If you go to the court, yeah, that, that's what I mean. yeah, if I go to the court and I have a degree in law and I ask the witness, what, why, why we call somebody witness? Because he saw with his eyes. 
So a true witness is the one who say what he saw, correct? Mm -hmm. That means the Christians are the truthful witnesses for what they saw because the Quran confirmed that this is what appeared to them. So they are not lying. So the stupid Quran confirm again that the Christians are telling the truth about Jesus' crucifixion. Allah is a liar. He made them see him on the cross. But then he lied to them for 600 years, as you said. And that means Allah is yeah, the devil. You believe, you, believe there's no, you believe there's no prophet between Jesus and Muhammad, if you them? So like, that means there's no one to come tell the people that, oh, Jesus didn't die. You have to wait 600 years. So exactly. people would die thinking that Jesus Exactly. So right. 600 years and passed. Jesus said that and those Christians, according to the Quran, Quran, believe in a lie. 600 years, the Christians believe in a lie according to the Quran. This is how it's stupid. I mean, because, I mean, because, uh, like, it's like this, like, uh, in Islam, even even in Islam, Jesus said he's going to come back. But the Islam denies the resurrection, which means that according to Islam, when he was crucified, it looks like the people that he died, and he didn't resurrect according to Islam to tell you know to tell the people he's going to go up to heaven and come back now, yeah. which which doesn't make sense because the people will just believe in Islam because they think oh Jesus is dead, he's not a real prophet, so you know, at six hundred years they're just not going to believe in Islam. But they did believe in Christianity, which means they obviously must have saw him resurrect. Like, that's just my thinking. Well, you can correct me here if I'm wrong. Whatever you take, Islam is going to end wrong. Uh, and look, you know, I mean, we are here talking about the crucifixion of Jesus. Very important matter. And the Quran speak about it in three words. The, the Quran have time to tell us about the story of the end and the value of the end. And one of the end, she said to the other end, but the Quran have no time to tell us who was in the cross, how it was made appear to them. What the story? What is the story? So he have a story I mean, fit for Disneyland. Ant is talking. Bird are talking. So a man is a flying. So a man die holding a stick. Harry Potter. Uh, Allah sent Harut and Marut. Seven sleepers. All those stories. But the story about Jesus, which is the most important story, does not exist. What happened in the cross? I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, because I know some people say it was Judas Iscariot, but that doesn't make sense because they found his body there with his organs not in. Like they found Judas's body. And then some people say Simon of Cyrene was crucified, but that also doesn't make sense. Yeah, you know, it's, it's I, 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 to be honest with you, I had difficulty to understand your microphone. Maybe you can call me tomorrow um, and, and correct your macro. Are you using like a headset or something? Uh, yeah, I'm using a headset. I think your headset is bad. Maybe if you speak directly. But anyway, guys, I, I apologize from you, H. I, I, I cannot continue really. I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired. I'm, I've been here for many hours already. I mean, four or five hours before and right away because we were expecting a shake from Indonesia to call me in Skype, but the coward, the potato, he did not. So I apologize, really. I, I will. Uh, uh, I will be back for sure. You know, God is willing. So uh, you are. Okay, are you gonna do another stream? Are you gonna do more streams at this time? Because normally you do it is at night time. So sorry again. I can't understand you. Say. As so normally when you do streams, they're at uh, night time. But now it's daytime. So are you gonna do more at daytime? Yeah, yeah. I try. I try to make different timing because so we can, you know, reach out to all, all kind of people. You know, so like, yeah, so yeah, like yeah. I was uh, just uh, five hours ago alive, and now I'm again live. So like, you know, it's uh, depend whatever your time zone, you will find me online. And as you see, I don't stay here for oh, yeah. half uh, hour only. Yeah, I stay for many hours. Yeah, it's six p.m. for me as well. All right. Thank you very much, my friend. And uh, I hope to hear from you maybe next time we go live. Try to fix your microphone. Uh, no problem. All right. I got this. All right. So, guys, I want to say thank you all for being here. I wish I can stay longer. Uh, but uh, obviously, I'm getting tired. Uh, usually, you know, uh, my my I can, I can stay only like maximum of 20 hours, you know. Uh, but, uh, I mean, come on. Aren't you bored of me? <laughs> Aren't you? <laughs> anyway, so uh, very interesting time we have today. 
and I hope you guys will download the videos, cut them pieces, let the world see how stupid Islam is. The whole purpose of what we do here is to show you and your kids after you, after us, we will die. Time will come and we will go, all of us. But our voice will be heard. My books is there. Will stay there forever, Muslims. Do you know my books? Will stay there forever. You cannot defeat them. And my voice is going to be heard more than anyone like Muhammad because he never, he doesn't have even his voice. You don't even know what he said. We show you what Muhammad says, you say da'if because you are embarrassed by what he said. My voice will stay speaking the truth, telling the truth about the gospel, sharing that only Christ can be your savior and my savior. Wake up before it's too late. The God of penis cannot be God. This is a sexual pervert God. God is holy. His teaching is holy. His kingdom is holy. You Muslim, shame on you. Even the house of God make it a pimp house. What kind of God you have? If somebody brought you a gift, and the gift is a sex toy, what that mean? You ask yourself, it is a sex God. God don't give gifts like this god is not a sex maniac is not a pervert even when god created adam and eve the purpose of eve is not to be a sex toy she is not she is created from adam himself which mean both have the same nature and when both they enjoy each other is to make a family not to f each other not to be used and abused you made women a toy when the purpose of having a woman and a man is to have a family you make it nothing but sex toy you became a pervert you have sex with the children you forbid yourself from a drinking wine, but you drink the, set, the, the, the piss of Muhammad, claiming that it is a holy piss. And then the holy piss will prevent you from burning in hellfire. So look at this. You sleep with the children. You kill your neighbor. You rape your, 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 the wife of your son. You, 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 you take women of others. You look after everybody. You do every, every kind wrong, but then you drink the piss of the prophet or you kiss the black stone and that's it. You are clean. Or you say shahada. That is the religion of the devil. The Lord, he says, from their fruits, you shall know them. And the fruits of your prophet tell us who he is. Thank you all. God is good. So is Jesus. I mean to that. And see you soon again. God bless.